What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. Happy Monday. It's your boy Blue. And today we're taking a look at Leeds Bradford by Orbix. Yes, sir. It has finally been released. A very cool little airport out here in Great Britain. And uh, I want to mention right up front, I am sorry if I have some stutters and honestly some just horrible frame rate. Uh, it is really not because of leads. It's actually, I believe it's actually my uh, True Earth uh, Great Britain scenery. I have, uh, yeah, there it is right there. I don't know why. Uh, I've just not been able to really get my True Earth scenery optimized like it should. Like, I don't really understand what's up with it. Uh, I've tried a lot of different things. It also doesn't help that today we're flying Zebo, And uh, those are both very uh, frame hungry add-ons. So I will warn you, and I think I mentioned this in my last time flying out in Great Britain, but uh, if you're going to get True Earth Great Britain, which is an amazing, amazing, amazing DLC, uh, make sure your computer can handle it um, because it is it's very good. It looks very good, but it's also very... Uh, PC intensive, but anyways, Leeds Bradford EGNM, beautiful stinking airport. I want to take a look at. It. I want to take a look around for for a bit, real quick, while we're uh, while we're out here. Let me get my chat up as well, so I can talk with you guys. All right, we're good. So I believe uh, this is one of Orbix's uh, PBR airports. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that looks good. Those uh, asphalt textures look pretty darn good. I don't know if this is a runway or what this area is over here, but we got some uh, pushback trucks, just a bunch of random vehicles, I guess, stored over here. And then, very nice textures on the runway, it looks like. Oh yeah, even has like, you can see, if you look way down to the end, you can see it's kind of like a slope as well on the runway. So we'll keep that in mind whenever we're landing here. So today, the plan for today, uh, if everything goes as planned, is we're going to take off out of uh, Leeds Bradford today. And they would going to fly, real short flight over to Dublin, Ireland. And then uh, we'll head back. Uh, and we'll finish our stream today in Leeds as well. What up, Seneca? Good to see you, man. I was wondering if you would join us today. I was going to be surprised if you missed this one. Uh, I don't. I guess this is the GA area over here. Uh, it's funny because, like, in the... Uh, Orbix actually warns you to um, turn down your texture resolution to medium. Or not medium, but to, like, turn it down. Uh, because even though it's been optimized, uh, it still could run pretty slow if you don't have your uh, textures turned down just a little bit. But even though I have my textures turned down, these textures still look like 4K HD, honestly. What up, a Avatar? Good to see you, man. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. Paul Telly, why is my... I don't know, my chat looks weird. Yeah, I haven't flown a ton, honestly, in and out of this airport. Um... Seneca actually is the one who told me about this airport. That's the only reason I know about it. And when we flew into here, when we flew in here, I think like my one or two times that I've flown into this airport, I've really enjoyed it. Got this little uh, ranch house over here. I love little details like this, man. I'll tell you, Orbex is really, really good. And we all know that. That's nothing new. Orbex is taking over the market right now. It's also very inspiring because I've mentioned this multiple times before, but I'm looking into, I'm not looking into, I've been working on getting into scenery de development myself. So I love looking at other people's scenery and seeing how well they do it and seeing what is actually possible. Uh, what up, F uh, Fledget Blaze TV? Good to see you got a little RV, RV park over here with some containers. Some nice little ground clutter, you know what I mean? Very nice, very nice. Tripix, good to see you, man. What's good? Welcome back, bro. ENGM is better. I don't know. Oh, yeah. 
Today we're talking about EGNM, not ENGM, which is really confusing because honestly, the first time I thought they were the same place. <laughs> but the other one is in Oslo. I do have uh, my objects turned down to medium right now because at high I lost about five frames. I'm already pretty, we're already really low on frames. Like you can already tell just by watching that we're not getting 60 anywhere near 60. I I'm hoping I'm getting 30. But very nice, very, very nice. Got some KLM Embraer E195 out here. Some fire trucks near the fire station. Smokestack. Very good job on the on the terminal itself. Look how look how high res that image is. That's pretty cool. Please Bradford, Yorkshire Airport. Very nice. I love little details like this. This is really cool. Welcome to Leeds Airport. Again, right now, guys, we're just exploring. We do have a flight to do again. We'll be flying over to Dublin. Uh, Ryanair 737. Oh, we just missed our bus. Oh, crap. Some nice uh, banners out here. The cool thing is I've, I've learned about Orbix is they actually, whenever they make an airport, and it's not just them, I've seen they have a lot of different developers working for them, uh, but they, they actually go out to the airport that they're designing and they go out and take their own reference photos and stuff like that. And so that's why they're able to get such accurate I mean, they have the billboards. I mean, come on. There's only one way for you to get those billboards. You can't get that from Google Maps. You have to go show up in uh, Leeds to get stuff like that. Let's see what else we got over here. It's only a few gates, like actual jetways out here, but they're very well modeled. We also have a little bus as well. These Bradford Airport.co.uk, British Airways. Yeah, face cam's gonna come here soon, guys. Don't worry. Just want to appreciate the scenery first before you appreciate my face. I don't want to steal the show, you know. I don't want that to happen. Very nice though. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. I definitely don't regret buying this. <laughs> I knew I was gonna like it. I mean, it was like a given. Like pretty much any Orbix scenery you ever get, you're never gonna regret getting it because it's always gonna be great quality. Um, but that's our aircraft right there, Ryan Air. Beautiful, but very good looking, man. Let's see what's over here. But again, I have, uh, I also have a uh, True Earth, Great Britain, North, uh, Central, and South. That's cool. I don't know what that is, but it's cool looking. It has it's PBR? I think it's PBR on it, so it's very well done. Uh, but so that's what I have underneath. So we have the airport, which uh, is like Leeds, Bradford, and a little bit of extended airspace around it, or coverage area, I should say. And then uh, outside of that, we have True Earth. Very nice, man. It just looks so good. I don't know how. I don't know how they do it. Like if I could, <laughs> for like no joke, like I, I would love to get into making scenery that looks this freaking good. Look at those textures, man. Look at those PBR. That's where it's at right there. If you can get that PBR on the runway, that just adds to the experience right there. That looks, that looks great. Uh, no, this will not be on Discord. That was just a, a fun thing yesterday. Uh, we're also using X and Viral, which I've already checked is actually not impacting my frames at all. I didn't get any extra frames by turning off X and Viral, so... Man, that looks good. Look at that. Reflection off of the paint strips. Good stuff, good stuff. Same thing on the number. What I want to know is if it was raining, if the runway was wet, could we see wet textures on the runway because that's supposed to be something I think they've been doing in their latest scenery like they did it, they had it in London City uh, I believe London City had a wet runway texture uh, if it was raining 
but yeah, man, this this is I I let's let's go fly. I can't wait to fly on it. <laughs> I can't wait to take off and land this airport. So again, guys, if you're just joining in, thank you for joining. You're boy Blue Games, and we're here at Leeds Bradford Orbix just released this today. We we'll appreciate some of their uh, new PBR scenery out here. It looks amazing, as well as the surrounding areas. Um, and again, uh, please just be mindful. My frames are a bit low, or actually very low. Uh, not because of leads, but because of True Earth. All right, so don't blame that on leads. All right, that's actually not my plan. I thought that was my plan. All right, over to, my, to our aircraft. We're flying Ryanair today, so wish us luck. Got the beautiful air stairs. I love that new add-on to uh, the Zebo having the, the air stairs. So, so nice. Uh, Hugo, you got to show me how to get that fuel truck out here. I did update my Zebo. This is the newest version. Uh, but I want to see how to get that fuel truck. But anyways, while we wait for that, let's get this thing loaded up and ready to go. We'll start with getting our uh, battery powered on. And we'll kill the music until we get up to air in the air. Uh, and we will, we will be flying on VATSIM today. If you, so if you guys would like to join me, uh, feel free to do so. I'm going to go ahead and connect now before I forget because I always forget to connect to VATSIM. Uh, can I fly Jet 2? I don't have a Jet 2 livery. If I did, I would. Honestly, I really would. Cause that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, I didn't. I don't. I don't have a Jet 2 livery uh, prepared for today, so uh, I won't be able to do Jet 2. But that'd been good. We could. We could have flown Ryanair there and then flown Jet 2 back. That would have been a great flight. But uh, oh well. Better luck next time. Uh, my call sign will be uh, Ryanair 116. I already filed my flight plan. All right, and we should be online. I don't think there's any ATC, so don't have to be concerned about that. Let's get ground power turned on. Uh, let me know, guys. I'm gonna get the camera is on as well. Uh, let me know if uh, you guys are hearing all the sounds. Okay, I'll make sure everything is good before we begin. Well, hello there. Camera's a little low. That's all right. When I lean back. You can't call the fuel truck without needing fuel. Okay. So if you already did your weight and balance, just change it to x 11 settings, then add it in a tablet and call the fuel truck. Huh? If you already did your weight and balance, ch change it in x 11 settings, add it. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't get it. What's up, Mike Smith? Good to see you, man. Tom's good to see you as well, man. Sorry I missed some of you guys' uh, shout outs here. Let's get the IRS Alliance. It's going to take the longest. And then we'll figure out the fuel truck situation. I position in it. It's so funny because just yesterday I was talking about how um, I wanted to do more flying in Europe. Is this how you spell it? E G N M. I always forget. <laughs> I don't want to fly to the wrong airport. To Dublin, which I also just got some new scenery yesterday by a guy named TDG. Was not aware that he made a lot of scenery, free scenery, out in Europe. Matter of fact, I believe he has free scenery for Leeds. I don't remember, I don't know what it looks like. Oh, and there's my phone. That's on silent. Alright, let's go uh, do our weight and balance. I don't think I did that yet. Uh, today's flight's super short. We're going to go ahead and tanker fuel, so we'll have enough fuel for both first and second flight. But we might reload the aircraft when we get to the airport, so we'll, we'll, either way, we'll just make sure we have enough fuel for both flights. Nice. Weight and balance. Uh, that's plenty right there. It's an hour there, hour back. And we'll just do three. Three hours of fuel. Or, yeah, we'll do three hours of fuel. I give us extra in case you have to divert or something happens. You never know. All right, fly changes. All right, so what's up with this fuel truck? So I see my fuel truck is here. Call. How do I get it to come out? Do wait and balance in the Zebo tablet. Okay. See, the thing I don't like, well, I can't say I don't like, but I never know how much to do. 10 kilograms and stuff. Uh, we need, I'm going to spot, uh, plan on using four, 4,600 kilograms of fuel. 
But that don't sound right. Eleven. That's what it says on air. <laughs> Payload: five point six kilograms. Zero fuel: forty-seven. Fuel: eleven. Takeoff weight: fifty-eight. What up, Alberta? Good to see, you, man. Yeah, I've never really, honestly, understood how to do weight and balance in the Zebo. <laughs> I've always just used the other other screen. But uh, it says, freaking, I need 4,600 kilograms. Why? Well, how come I only am able to do 11.4? Oh, wait. I get it. So, 46. No. <laughs> what is your problem, man? El Bampino, good to see you, man. Do it like 4.55, not 4.55. But I need 4,600. How do you transfer 4,600 into a decimal? I don't understand it. To be honest with you. Salty Tiger, good to see you as well, man. This is why I've never used this feature. Or... I don't want to end up not having enough fuel either. So. Alright, so that worked. Fuel required. Actual... Wait, so is it thousand? So is the forty seven thousand is that a thousand? Does that represent a thousand? Fuel truck on the left or the right? Not here yet. Four point six. Okay, alright, thank you. Yeah, that's what I was confused about. Like what the heck is that? So four point six would be forty six hundred kilograms. Alright. Okay. So that's done. Now I call the fuel truck. There you go. Alright, which one is he gonna go? Left wing or isn't it right wing? Oh, hello! Get A, very cool. Yeah, this is new to me. I just updated this thing, so I've never seen this. Very nice. So, does he just stay there until it's done or. Oh, there's a little guy! Hey! What's up, buddy? Striking a. Oh, it's a girl. Still, she's striking the pose. What's her name? What's your name? Wow, that is HD. Morgan? <laughs> Hello, Captain Morgan. Apparently, your surname is Captain. That's interesting surname. Access restriction, SRA, ramp. It might be a guy. It might be a guy. Either way, he is just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, he is. He loves his job. He like look he that is that is that is taking pride in your work right there, that is what that is that's what that pose mean. I don't even want to leave like I want to watch you do your job and then go set, set up the plane. Kind of windy out here. You see some water or something coming off the wheels. Is there any sound? I don't think there's any sound for the future. I don't hear any sound. Very nice. I like that. That's a cool feature. Tell you, Zebo gets better every week. It's hard for me to keep up with them. It's very frustrating to keep up with them, but they get better every week. And I feel like no matter where you go, he's just staring at you. Or she. Wait, Morgan. I'm not sure if it's a he or she. I think it's meant for you to guess. Oh, he's offloading fuel. Right, because we had 11, which was probably way too much fuel. Now we have. So really, we're going to have to refuel when we get there because 4.6 kilo, uh, thousand kilograms is only enough to get us there. All we need next, built into Zebo is the loaders, like the actual um, uh, loaders on the side. Uh-oh, somebody's taking off. Jet 2. Uh, I can't see. Or landing. I'm not sure if they're taking off or landing. Yeah, he's definitely taking off. Flying Dutchman, what's up, man? Good to see you. CJ Hosser, welcome to the stream. Hell, who else did I miss while we're waiting for uh, Miss, Mr., Mr., Miss, Miss, Mr. Morgan <laughs> to uh, finish offloading fuel on this 737-800? We do have, like, three times more fuel than we need, so it might take a while. Matter of fact, I don't know if I'm going to wait. 
It'd be really cool if you could actually see him like take it down and walk back. I mean, maybe I'm asking for too much. <laughs> I just think that's really cool. Yeah, but we were flying yesterday. I was flying Zebo yesterday, and we were uh, Hugo. I think it was you who told me about the uh, the new update with the fuel truck, and I was like, yeah, I don't really know if I want to update right now since I've already started my flight. But next time, I'll get it up the updated. All right, well, um, you know, I don't want to waste too much time today. We do have two legs to do today. So, uh, where, where was I? Where, where was I? Uh, APU, the APU turned on. Keon, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Good morning, Nathan. Good to see you as well, my good man. Let's try not to, let's try not to take an hour to get started today. Let's do that. I mean, you guys are not in a rush, are you? You can see how far he is on the tablet. Where is it on the weight and balance screen, I guess? Alright, so right now, actual is 8.4, so he's taking out. He still has 4 kilograms to take out. I think he's going to take all of it out of the center tank. That's really cool. That's, that's, that's pretty darn cool. Alright, APU is firing up. Uh, I'll be cruising at, uh, we're going to try to get up to 28,000 feet. But while I'm waiting for the APU to turn on, I'm going to set our cabin out to 28,000. Alright, there it is. Uh, APU gen. X. K yes sir, I'm on PC. Flying Dutchman, we're in Leeds, Bradford today. The new Orbex scenery. Very nice. You'll see, you'll, you'll see it again here soon once we uh, get stuff ready to go. Alright, logo lights. Don't technically need them because it's daytime. I'm just going to leave them off this time. Uh, we'll put the steady navigation lights on. And we'll get some lights in the overhead. And down to the FMC. Let's get our flight plan set up. So performance in it. I guess I have to wait to do that until he's done. So we'll skip the performance part. Oops. Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Go straight to the route, and I'm gonna go to departure, arrival. Uh, what runway were we expecting at least today? Fourteen. Oh, you know something else I need to do? Charts. Oop, that's nice, but like GG and M, I don't know where the heck that is. <laughs> no joke, CJ. If I start seeing like, uh oh, don't tell me I gotta. Oh, I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do. No, maybe. Usually, when this happens, that means I have to update something. Is this not giving me? Oh, that's so frustrating. I think my nav because Navigraph just updated like yesterday. I just used this yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see the ramp agents start moving and stuff. I'm trying to get my charts in, but it's not showing the little thingy here, where it's supposed to be here. Click on charts. Okay, yeah, no, it, nothing, nothing happens. Isn't it in settings or something? No, my charts is in airport. I've, I've all, it's always been there. Like, again, I just flew this yesterday, and this is exactly what I did. Matter of fact, we did two flights yesterday. Well, the same flight twice, because I screwed up the first time. I'm just trying to use Avatab. I'm trying to get my Navigrav charts working. And usually I hit airport, I go to the thing, there's three icons, there's an X, there's this thingy, and there's the other thingy, and it's not working. So I just have to use the Navigrav separate app, whatever. I'm not gonna waste time with that. 
plugins menu. Oh yeah, that's where it is. I always I always forget. Is it Avatar? Let's see if this works. Navigraph. Error. Yep, that's it. See, see what I'm saying? It's some BS. <laughs> I love it how things just decide to not work when you need them to work. Only when I'm streaming. So we're not going to have Navigraph in the plane today. We're just going to use a regular old map. And I'll have, I'll have Navigraph set up uh, externally. What I'm doing now... And while I'm doing that, I'll give you guys a view of leads. And we'll turn the music on for a little bit. Let's get my charts ready. Do I use Discord streaming? Uh, yes, I did it yesterday. And the day before? Yeah. You missed out, bro. If you if you want to watch me do random streams, uh, I do them I do them on Discord from time to time. On the Blue Games Discord. But of course, you got to be in the Discord to see it. Hey, we don't have any departure today. We do have an arrival. The bags, the bag so one kilo. Keon, what's up, man? Get to see. You. Welcome to the stream, buddy. All right, looking for one kilo, one kilo, one kilo. I'm always really like. It, I'm always really confused when it comes to uh, so many the way that they you guys organize your charts in Europe is just so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't understand it. I can barely ever find anything. It's like five versions of the same chart. I found one Zulu. I right, just one kilo. All right, I got it. Approach in Dublin might be runway 16. Might. So I'm just going to have that on standby. Alright, sorry for the wait, guys. Just getting my charts ready outside of the game. And I think they're ready now. Oh, that's not what I want. <laughs> Hugo, you're getting confused in the U.S. I don't know. Oh, I can't say I don't know why. It's it's different, man. It's uh, it's it's kind of fun, you know, learning about the differences between flying in Europe and flying in the U.S. And I, that's one of the reasons I like flying in, in Europe because it's so foreign. It's so different. There's so many different types of procedures. The charts look a little bit different. And why can't I see myself? What is this? Oh, this is an airport briefing. Nobody wants an airport briefing. Wait. I was like trying to find my chart and I was looking at Dublin the whole time. Again, confused. Cause you guys like your airport diagrams, you have so many like pages of airport briefings and stuff like that. Alright, we're we using runway 14, that sounds good to me. Elevation 682. And uh back in game. Alright, I'm ready. Oh, no, I'm not ready to go, but I'm ready to do the flight plan. Alright, so we're going we're going four, so we're using um, no departure. Back to route, activate, execute, and then we'll go to next page. Uh, first waypoints me Nelsa N E L S A. After that, we will direct to Croft. I 
guess we'll do this first one. And then hop on the Yankee 70 airway. It's such a short flight, guys, but there's so many waypoints. Like, if we did a flight like this in, in the US, it'd be like one waypoint. <laughs> but out here, you guys love your waypoints and airways. Alright, an L70. Then L28 again, another airway is crazy. LEL. Execute next page. An M145. Just blows my mind, man. So, like, it's, it's this is literally a one hour flight. Less, actually, it's a 30 minute flight. This is a 30 minute flight, and we have a whole long list of waypoints and airways and, and all kind of stuff. Okay, execute. Let's go ahead and get our arrival. Uh, one kilo is one we want. No transition, I guess. Uh, runway, what did I say, 16? Let me check on that real quick. 16, yeah, I guess 16's okay. 16 or 10, we'll do 16. We don't need a lot of runway, or I might need a lot of runway. But, uh, we'll make it work. Alright, where's the ILS is at? There it is. At. It just says 16, it should say I. There it is, ILS 16. And the transition, we'll use... Uh, can I use driving pedals as rotor pedals? It's not not really. Yeah, at least mine haven't worked for me. I have driving pedals, and I don't have rotor pedals. And it has not worked for me. Is Kirav an option? Yes, we'll do that. I right, execute. And Rute. Alright, is that guy done? Or, yeah, she's gone. He or she, whatever. <laughs> I still don't know what they are. Alright. Performance in it. Yep, so now it says 4.6. So now I understand what that means. Alright, reserves. Uh, sure, say 1.0, I guess. Uh, cost index. That's a high, 44. You know why the cost index is so high? Because there's so many freaking waypoints. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really know. Come on, click, click. I need a new mouse, guys. I really need a new mouse. Uh, it's uh, It's been really getting to me. Uh, it's weird. I don't know why it does it. I, I, I guess it's been doing it since the start. I've just been really noticing it lately. All right, that looks good. But it's been really hard to click on fine areas. Like, if I want to click on this one little button, like, I gotta, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. You'd have to just have my mouse and use it to really know what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna probably buy a new one here in the next month or so. All right. Flight plan's done. Take a look at it. Hopefully we have time to do the second flight back. Oh, we're definitely gonna do it. I'm just gonna do a really quick review. Yeah, looks good to me. Beautiful. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right, flight plan's done now. I mean, really, we just gotta push and start. Ain't much else to do. Let's get the doors closed and all that. Go to our start leg. We'll turn off the air stairs. Oh, wait, I gotta put the air stairs up first and then close the door, right? Yeah. Uh, we can disconnect the GPU, don't need that anymore. And we'll pause music here for a little bit. What's up, uh, Taviation? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. And Starly, welcome back as well, bro. Somebody was asking about you earlier. They were like, where you been at? It's a good question. Where have you been at? <laughs> Uh, 
that noise? Is that Ryanair? I think it is. So I turned off my music. I think it's the Ryanair music. I've really, I've honestly never flown the Ryanair 737 since they added all the sound, like the uh, cabin sounds. Like, that's how long it's been since I've flown the Ryanair 737. It's funny, right? Alright, we're good to go, guys. Let's get our um, pushback truck. Requested. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you want uh, to go. I can't remember which direction we're going. <laughs> Love the British accent, though. <laughs> Uh, we need to go to the left. And there's not a lot of room. Oh, okay. There's a taxi. I don't know. I usually like to kind of push back and then pull it forward to kind of keep us within our lane. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. I driving up. I think that's what that sound is. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, this is your captain speaking. On behalf of all the crew, welcome aboard this flight. We expect to be departing on schedule today, and weather on route is looking pretty smooth. Shortly, the cabin crew will be showing you a safety demonstration. This is for your safety and for those around you, so please give them your full attention. Once again, you're all very welcome aboard. Oh, the door is open. <laughs> uh, doors are here. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. This is why I love flying other parts of the world. I love how the voice changes on Better Pushback. Like it just brings me so much joy. <laughs> like when we flew in. Oh, that freaking Ann is back. Get him! I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get him! connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Bro, I've been trying to kill that ant for 24 hours. There was an ant on my desk. I don't know where it came from. I think it came from the door. And, uh... Yesterday, all day, it kept popping up in random places on my desk, and I was trying to kill it, and it kept hiding. Like, as soon as I said ant, or, like, started talking and started paying attention to it, like, it freaking, like, hid away. Like, it's like, it's like it understood English. It was just like, <gasps> like, it got, it got shocked and, like, hid from me, and I was like, holy crap. And so I kept losing it. It was on my microphone. It was, like, everywhere, man. It was, it was really annoying. And I lost it. I could not find it all night, and I just saw it on the freaking wall, and I was like, I'm taking my chance. I'm killing this ant. So anyway, he did now. All right. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I think he said we're ready to push back. I believe. I believe that's what he said. Uh, are we ready to go, guys? Are we? Are we good? Uh, uh, Let's get the beacon light turned on. Uh, my computer, through all the confusion, just started playing Selena. I get it to stop. <laughs> what up, Adam? Edits. <laughs> I need to wear a pilot hat. Eh, I think I'll pass. Not big on props. Uh, we need the uh, fuel pumps and stuff on. I want to hear these announcements. Very 
Very cool. All right, cabin door is closed. Leasing park and brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Gotcha. Starting engine number two. Get some lights on down here. Fifteen percent. Twenty. Yeah, I'm using a uh, Thrustmaster T sixteen thousand. I don't know why, but some reason the engines sound quieter today. Oh, we got Jet 2 over there. Man, I wish I would have downloaded that Jet 2 livery before we started. Oh well. Alright, let's start another uh, engine number one. We got two good engines, generators coming on. Oh, damper. Bro. Sometimes I wish these planes just flew themselves, so you just sit in the back and listen to all the sounds. Uh, I don't think we have any in the center of fuel pumps. Psst, we don't have any in the center of fuel pumps, so don't worry about that. APU gen's gonna come off, APU, APU's gonna come off. Flaps coming down. There are four overwing exits in the center of the cabin, two left and two right. Please note the nearest exit to you, which may be behind you. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal end into the buckle. To secure, pull on the loose end of the strap. And to open, lift the buckle cover. In the event of a sudden loss of cabin pressure, Baila. individual oxygen Baila. Baila. Operation Baila. complete. Set for the power parking brake. If this happens, remain seated. Pull down firmly on the mask to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Don't worry if the bag does not inflate. Oxygen is flowing. To secure the mask. Alright, what is the local altimeter? Uh, I could get the ATIS, but I don't feel like it. So we're just going to cheat and use X and Viro's weather briefing. H is 1007. All right, as so on both sides. All right, flaps are down, flight director's on. Uh, we'll go to 5,000. Initial climb. Go out at about 225, what I usually like to do. Does it work that way, Hugo, on Swift, though? I know you can do that on 
on uh, Squawk Box. It's also just a hassle to go over to Swift and then type anything ever. <laughs> so. Alright, is uh, the tow guy gone? Oh, he's still there. Uh, I set the parking brake. Oh, okay. They didn't do it. I thought I did. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Bird K70, why does it look so realistic? Uh, because it's X-Plane 11. <laughs> Freaking gorgeous, though, right? The beauty of the explain and its add ons. I'm right, gonna wait for the pushback guy to get away. Give us the wave. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. It's a bit windy today. It's, uh, 11 not wind, 180. Not too bad for an airliner, but you know, it's a little windy. Everything you see right now is a mod for X-Plane. So yes, I have mods for X-Plane. What's up, Enderman? Good to see you, man. Looks like GTA. <laughs> Alright, is he ready? Is he gone? Alright, here's the wave. We out of here. Release some parking brake. Let's roll. Taxi lights coming on. Alright, guys. We're heading to Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. It does actually look a little wet, like some of the textures on the runway, like like there's a few spots where it's just kind of like, it had like a damp texture look, a moist <laughs> texture look you could say, you know. Alright, so we're going to taxi to runway 14, we're going to have to back taxi, so we'll go ahead and take Alpha all the way to runway 14, we'll back taxi to uh, runway 14. Can we go straight or do we have to turn? Oh, we can go straight. All right. Hopefully, uh, everything runs smoothly here. Again, I don't have rudder pedals, so I use the twist right now on my joystick for my nose wheel steering. Textures are very nice. Do I turn here or is it the next one? Yeah, I need to go right. Okay. This airport's very well done, though. It's very well done. Just wish I was getting better frames, to be honest with you. Frames are bad right now, bro. Frames are bad right now. I don't even want to look. It's embarrassing. I, like, I feel like I have a NASA, NASA computer, and yet I'm still getting crappy frames. It's not, again, it's not because of EG and M. It's not because of Leeds. It's actually because of True Earth Great Britain. Alright. Ooh, I like this heel. That's cool. How do you do that? I need to figure out how to do that in my airport. It's like how to how to really like customize the, the mesh so that you can have runways that go exactly how you want in the slope and things like that. I'm right, gonna turn the land lights on. Uh, wing well. Ropes. 
Oh, and I'm, I knew I was gonna happen every freaking time. Every time I look up while I'm moving. I look, some, look at that though, that looks amazing. Alright, this is the runway. Runway seems to be clear. Yeah, we're on that soon, so we do have to check. And you actually really do feel the hills as you're taxiing up and down. Like, it takes a little bit more power for me to really get up the hill. Look at that slope runway. It looks really cool. And back taxi runway 1-4. We'll turn around at the end. Yeah, I have a, a 1080 Ti. Uh, how much RAM do I have? I think 16. I can't remember. It's in the description. I always forget. I think I have 16 gigs of RAM. And the crazy thing is I remember somebody was trying to help me out with getting better frames a while back. Because I actually did get better frames from changing some things. But uh, when it comes to things that really take a lot of frames, like Orbic Scenery, um, I was trying to like really change my frames. And I was looking at my actual computer p performance. My computer is fine. Like, it's not even stressing out. <laughs> like, but yes, yeah, it's, it's just x planes single core. So like, I'm hoping that things like this will be fixed whenever Vulcan comes out, whenever that happens. And, I'd be like another five years. Just hope it clears up once we get airborne. All right, let's set this to RTO. That looks good, though. I tell you, it's gonna look good on screenshots. <laughs> All right, I think the runway is still clear. Raj, Ryanair one sixteen taking off runway one four, leads. I know it's it's pretty surprising that they did that. All right, I'm gonna turn the sounds up and I'm gonna be quiet here on takeoff. I just love the sounds in this thing. Look at that, you can really see the frame drops as we're turning left. Ay, 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 it's bad. All right, engaging LNAV. Thank you, Hugo. And auto throttle is armed. We are ready to go. Oh, one thing we did forget as we sit on the runway, is our transponder. Come on. All right, let's go. Parking brake released. Bye for now. I don't know heading for a bit. I'll make that right turn.
Alright, we're gonna go to Auto Pass so we can enjoy the view for a while. Uh, okay, why can't I? Why is it? Oh, nav not working. Not on intercept heading will screw you. All right, there's five thousand. That looks so good. Cool. All right, let's continue up to twenty-eight thousand, and I'll figure out why Elnav is not working. All right, there it goes. Alright, 28,000. And we'll do vertical speed again. 3,000 is fine. We need 250 knots. And standard. I'm not used to hitting standard at 5,000 feet. I'm used to hitting it at 28. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, wait a second. Where are we going? Where are we going? Why is Elnav tripping? We were going in the right direction, and now we're not. Back to heading select. So weird. You wasted my time, man. Maybe going the opposite way. Come on. I think this happened to me last time. Why are we still turning right if the heading is to my left? What the heck? Like we're stuck in a, a we're stuck banking to the right. What is that warning? It says C W C W S R C W S P. Anybody know what that means? 
Well, yeah, I know I need to turn left to intercept the flight path, but I've already hit the heading select, which is supposed to turn me to the left, and it's not. You can see the flight director telling me, hey, turn left. And it's like, no, I don't want to turn left. Wait, is autopilot even on? Yeah, it's on. My autopilot is on, confirmed, and again, the aircraft is trying to turn. I don't know where it's trying to go. I have it set. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, now I have to set the bank to 30. All right, so now it's following that. So it actually knows I exist. I'm actually on VNAV currently. And it's leveling off at 20,000, gaining speed, and it's turning us around. All right, so maybe it's working now. I don't know why it wasn't working before. I, I wasn't using the uh, controls at first, I don't think. I don't know. Oh, well. I think we're going the right way. We'll check on it in a second. Let's get the land lights turned off. Taxi lights and all that. Cabin's already pressurized. Turn off the wing wheel light. And the wing lights. Strobe lights are on. Beacon lights are on. And overhead looks good. So basically right now we're just flying circles over leads. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Alright, so basically I was turning the plane and not autopilot. Alright, gotcha. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we got into that. Um, I thought I hit autopilot and then stopped messing with the control, but maybe I bumped it. Who knows? Zebo always throws me for a curveball every time I fly it. Right, so I think we're going to be going back on the right way now. It's turning as we're almost at our cruise before we can get to our first waypoint. <laughs> but I'm glad you get to see me out to the stream. What looks blurry? You were on the CWS mode instead of Command A. CWS allows you to set pitch and roll using the yoke, and it will hold what you mail. That's cool. I didn't know I could do that. See, I, I knew I was doing that. You know, I was doing it on purpose. I was just seeing if you guys knew what you're talking about. <laughs> that's cool, though. I like, I like that. That's cool. So I could actually set. All right, yeah. It's good to know in the future for any instance that I may end up needing that for some reason. Now I know that I will. What I have. See, are we tracking? Yes, we're tracking. So we are 26 minutes away. And if you look at pro <laughs> if you look at my flight tracking, I just drew a big old ugly heart in the sky. And we're about to fly right back over Leeds again. And there's some storms over uh looks like western UK. And they may be moving towards Dublin. I'm not really sure what direction they're going to. We might have weather to fly over. I'm not sure we're gonna fly through it. Man, I think it's our cruise. Oh, those ugly X and Viro. <laughs> Contrails, or I should say ugly X plane contrails. I forgot about those. It is a cool little feature. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, when we get to Dublin, we're gonna have to make a quick turn. Because, uh, we're behind. That's alright. We'll. We'll try to take our time a, bit, a little bit today, but again, I don't. I have uh, some work to do after the stream is over. 
but until then we'll enjoy the flight how you guys doing how was your weekend uh, are you looking into picking up leads yourself um, or are you not sold yet Also, did anybody? Ah, oh, dang it! You know what? I didn't even wish. Anybody watched the Formula One race this past weekend? Because I didn't. <laughs> I don't have that channel. Hello again from the flight deck. Your captain speaking. We've just reached our cruise altitude, and the signal sign is now off. Feel free to move around the cabin, but we do ask if you are in your seat that you do keep your seatbelt loosely fastened in case we do experience any unexpected turbulence. Otherwise, invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Manchester approaches online, which is right next to Leeds, but I have a feeling that later on today, whenever people get off of work and all that stuff, it's going to be very busy airport later on in Vets. And right now, it's, right now, we were like one of three planes out there. Yeah, I agree, Starly. I really hope that this Vulcan update, uh, whenever that comes. They've been talking about Vulcan for, like, what, two, three years, man. But they're switching the whole sim to the Vulcan system or whatever it is. And um, I'm really hoping that it does help. I mean, it's going to help everyone, I hope. I hope it really, really helps people with their frame rate issues. Because a lot of people like me, we have. I have a strong computer. I have a very strong computer. Uh, but there's still times on X-Plane where I have... Uh, issues with frames and it's upsetting because I spent a lot of money on my computer <laughs> you know what I mean and uh, I shouldn't have that problem that's great glad you glad you had a great weekend I should do some night flying uh, I wouldn't be against it it's I feel like the night flights are Oh, they're hard to stream because there's just nothing to do. It's just dark. It's like basically It's just the web camera if the web camera is available, you know, so it's just basically you're just watching me There's nothing to look at. It's just pitch black outside um, But I love I personally love night flights. I really do So uh, maybe I'll do that on discord. Maybe I'll just do a, a night flight on discord sometime. We'll see uh, Thomas have I done my IFATC training still in the process. I was supposed to do some training last night I didn't get a chance to do any, um, so hopefully sometime this week I can get with uh, my trainer or whatever and uh, we'll do another session. But I think it's about time that I can take my test again, but I have to do like a certain amount of training sessions before I can do the test, so I think I've only done one so far. Uh, yes, Hugo, I did update Orbix True Earth, uh, England or Great Britain. It had an update once I got this one, so I had a, it did it automatically. I don't know what version number it is, but it did update. Yeah, just update. It actually is not a big update. It's probably like a mesh update uh, because of uh, leads. When do I think the A359 is coming out? For which game? Uh, I don't know when either are coming out on X Plane or, or uh, Infinite Flight. The voice I just heard was Flight Deck to Sim. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, I know of him. I've, uh, he's he's been blowing up on on uh, YouTube. I think any pi like any any real life pilot who comes down uh, and does flight sim like legitly, you know, um, they're definitely like a big deal. You know what I mean? Because it's almost like a famous person coming. You know, because like all of us want to do what they do, and they were already doing it, and they're able to give us their point of view. Um, from a real world perspective and they fly the flight sims so I think it's extremely valuable whenever you have somebody who's a real life pilot especially for a Boeing 737 or A320 and they come and they do um, live streams in Zebo. you know what I mean like I think that's great <laughs> I didn't watch any football either yesterday I don't usually watch football games 
and his girlfriend is the flight attendant voice on Ryanair. Huh. Interesting. I heard it was a good race, though, uh, for Formula 1. Uh, Orbix EG and M uh, cost, in US dollars, it was like 20 something. So it's really cheap, honestly, for an airport of this quality. Of this quality. Yeah, a lot of pilots don't do flight simming because it's their job. You know, um, there's one pilot I met on DCS World a while back. Uh, I think he still streams and he still uh, plays DCS, but he's a A320. He's a real world A320 pilot, and his perspective was, I was like, I, I was thinking, I was like, it'd be really like he already likes playing DCS World. Like, why doesn't he like fly the Airbus A320? Uh, like as you know streams for X Plane 11 like people would love to watch that um, But for him his point of view is like I don't want to work <laughs> Yeah, I guess you know what I mean like not that he, not, it's not that he doesn't love his job, but he doesn't really want to do civil av aviation um, In his free time and so what he does is he flies the heck out of DCS world. He loves doing fighter jet stuff um, So but I've been trying to link up with him to see if he would do a flight with me. But I haven't talked to him in a while. But I understand that. Like some people, some people started out as a flight simmer. I don't know how a flight that the sim is. I don't know him personally. I don't watch. I, I've seen a couple of his streams, but I don't like watch it all the time. So I don't know everything about him. But I don't know if. I assume he started out as a flight simmer. You know what I mean? Like for example, like a bunch of you guys started out as flight simmers you flew x plane 11 p3d whatever not stop and then later on in your lifetime you finally get to actually do this in real life you get to go fly for ryanair you get to go fly for american or delta or whoever and then you know in your free time you're probably gonna you know because flight sims are still really fun to fly and you get to do things that you can't do in the real world and prepare for the real world and stuff like that um and so i think it'd be cool to come back to the sim and and uh do some flying and whatnot i think that'd be pretty dope And yeah, I agree, Hugo, like, flight simming is pretty boring for pilots because they do this in real life. Like, this is what they sit around and do for the majority of their life. <laughs> uh, sit there on, on one, two hours, six hours, however long their flight is, their routing, uh, they sit there and do that for a while. Uh, the biggest difference with doing it in a simulator is because you get to see the outside view, you get to see a little bit more, uh, and you also get to talk to people in the chat, I guess. But hey, and I feel like if, if I... Not if, when. I'm going to be a pilot. I'm not, I'm, I, again, not planning on being an airline pilot like of a Boeing 737. If it happens, then cool. Uh, but my goal is really to be a private, like, um, like a, a private jet pilot. You know what I mean? Like Falcon 50s, Challengers, uh, Citation, stuff like that. That's what I want to do. Um, but I would love to, uh, like, even after, after I become a pilot, I'm definitely still going to be coming back and doing live streams of x Plane 11. Like, that's not going to stop. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's like, you can love your job. You know what I mean? You can love your job. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, when you do something <laughs> nonstop, you know, every day, you go through the whole process every day, you know what I mean? Like, it, it gets... And then you want to go back and play a game <laughs> that does what you do in real life? Like, I don't know. I right, we probably need to start thinking about descending, right? Because it's a really short flight, so... All right, top of the scent is where are we going? You see this? You guys, you guys seeing this? Look at this flight. Look, we are here. Our flight plan is going all like this, but we're just going. Where are we flying to? Zebo, Zebo doesn't like me today. It says it's flying to Croft, and Croft is 24 nautical miles ahead of us. We're on VNAV. If, uh, LNAV is not working like at all and it keeps telling me we're now in intercept heading so let's see if I can do a direct and see if that'll change it how annoying I 
I might have to actually reload the aircraft when we come back. I don't want to do, but we might have to. It's going to set us back a good 20 minutes if we actually have to restart my X-Plane. The route is not messed up. The route is fine. The plane is just not flying the route. Alright, so we are close to Dandy. Let's see if we can get direct to Dandy. Oh, wait, there's Pino. Where's Pino? Pino's right there. Let's see if we can go direct to Pino. Execute. All right, what, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna turn? No, look at that. Like that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Like ah, this is so frustrating. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Okay. 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 Cool. It's working. It's working. Everybody can chill out. That's okay. This is why there's a door. <laughs> This is why there's a door in the cabin, because when the pilot freaks out, nobody knows in the back. Everybody's in the back just chilling, drinking their Sprite and fruit juices and eating their little, you know, in, in you know, <laughs> in-flight snacks. Ah, uh, that's so funny. Uh, Joof, it's a really short flight. Uh, flight time about 30 minutes. We're about to descend here soon. You're so funny, Thomas. You guys are always like, maybe you should just play Infinite Flight, something less complicated. Is that a fighter jet? What the heck is that? Oh, he's flying, he's crossing us. Good thing I'm at altitude, because we didn't hit him. All right, aircraft is doing what it's supposed to do now, Thomas. We do need to turn down our bank angle because we're way too fast to be banking this quick. Okay, now that we're back on course, we'll be descending in about, uh, is that 20 miles, 20-ish miles? Man, did, see, scenes like this make X and Viral look amazing, look at that. X and Viral is still absolutely a work in progress. Still basically in alpha. <laughs> but times like this, you're like, yeah, I, X and Viral has the right idea. They're going in the right direction at least. But it's funny because yesterday I did a flight, again, in the Zebo plane. This is why this is why these things are frustrating me so much because I just flew Zebo yesterday. Like it was less than 12 hours ago. Okay, maybe it was longer than that. It was less than 24 hours ago. And, you know, everything's working fine. And now these random issues are coming up. Um, but I also flew with uh, Ultra Weather and Active Sky, and it actually looked amazing. I was like bragging about how good it looked. And then today I'm like, X and Fire looks really good. So there's really like, there's a few different, I mean, I don't feel like any of the weather engines or weather add ons for X Plane 11 are perfect, or, or I don't think any of them are, all, are really there yet. So it really comes down to preference on which one you actually like the most. But the weird thing was that whenever I was clicking on LNAV, it would not allow me to click on LNAV, and I wasn't sure why. Alright, I'm going to start flight planning my second flight. So we can get that ready ahead of time. Once again, I'll be using uh, 7700800. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna try to sneak and pick up that Jet 2 livery for Zebo. Let's see if I can find it. Cause I don't think I've ever flown Jet 2 on X-Plane. Gotcha, Hugo. Uh, 
Uh, I really haven't been able to pay much attention to your Spanish. Sorry, IFMG. Okay, hey, don't at me. What up, I fly guy? Good to see you, man. That's a pretty cool view. I don't know if the screenshot's gonna go, but let me see. Ah, dang it, that's very long. Ah, so, uh, I was doing a uh, live stream yesterday. I was kind of hanging out on Discord yesterday with a few of you guys, and uh, what is that top of the scene? Oh, crap. I'll go. I'll come back to that. Uh, down to eleven thousand. Did I miss it? But it's not descending. Why aren't you descending? Yes, I actually have gotten uh, my OBS uh, fixed mostly. I, I still don't have all of the functionality I used to have, but I got the essentials. All right, we're not descending. So vertical speed it is. Yeah, everything is just not really working out for me in this flight. That's okay. Yeah, I got my camera back working, I got my overlay, and that's really it. <laughs> my intro, like like just the basics. I have a lot of other stuff that I, uh, I used to have uh, loaded in to my OBS, and I still haven't uh, set it up. I wonder if I hit V, I'm just curious, if I hit VNAV now, will it log on to the actual VNAV? All right, it says VNAV path armed. Okay, I think it's doing it now. I think, I think it's doing it now. Okay, let me go ahead and continue my flight planning. Oh snap. You guys okay? Are you guys okay? Uh oh, what does that say? The problem loading scenery? Okay. I just had like a, a really bad glitch or stutter on my entire. Like, it wasn't just OBS, my whole my entire computer froze for like five seconds and I thought the stream ended and the game crashed. I'm so glad it didn't. Oh, that would have sucked. All right, we're descending. VNAV is taking us down. And I'm going to go back to the regular view to see what the plane is doing. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, man. We are like 10 minutes away. Drag required, gotcha. Welcome back, Red Knight Aviation. Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. All right, our return leg is ready to go. And I think we will fly with Jet, too, but I don't know, man. Again, that means that I have to restart my X-Plane if I do that. What do you guys think? If you want me to fly Jet 2, speak up now on the way back. If you don't care, or if you want me to fly Ryanair, let me know. Speak now or forever hold your peace.
put in your liveries folder, then go to aircraft menu. At least that worked for you. Oh, I can try that. We'll see. I just put it in just now. But I think one time I had I had done that, it um it like I don't know, it didn't I don't know, it didn't work for me, but we'll see. I'll try it. Hopefully hopefully it works that way. Alright, we're just sitting, let's go ahead and let everybody know. First of all, he's lying. We're not ahead of schedule. But he is correct. We're less than 30 minutes away. <laughs> Alright, where are we? One other thing we need, and that is the ILS frequency. You know, one one eleven five. And as always, I like to put them in both as a backup in case first one doesn't work. Huh, that's weird. That happened to that happened to Raven yesterday. Those freaking knobs just popped up in the middle of there. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, now it's gone. Well, I fixed it. I hit mode. I don't know. That does. Whatever. Okay. Well, it works. I hope. And then, uh, all right, we're descending still. thing I need is the CRS we 160 it's uh, not such a pretty day below us those clouds are flying over right now are storm clouds I don't know that it's gonna reach all the way to Dublin speaking of Dublin we're gonna see if we can actually pick up the ATIS in Dublin which can go one two four five three Let's see if we can get that Is it three? Is it three or three five? Let me see. Yeah, uh, three. Just three. Okay. All right. Tune that in. We'll see if we actually pick up anything. If not, I'll just use uh, the uh, cheat sheet. All right. Down to eleven thousand. How are we looking? Let's continue to six. Oops. Too low. Six thousand. All right. Passing. 11, didn't below 11,000 now. I don't know if we're going to make it to the next one in time. Let's see, land lights going to come on. I have honestly never landed in Dublin on X Plane 11, so this would be pretty cool. And uh, this will also be my first time ever flying into this specific scenery that I downloaded yesterday. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, IFMG, for the weather update. Cloudy with possible rain. I'll be on the lookout. What was my first video on YouTube? It was a GTA... Uh, landing tutorial <laughs> in the GTA 747 cargo plane. That was my first YouTube video. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I love, this is one thing I like about X and Viral was flying down below the clouds. Always very nice. All right, so our uh, see our ILS is set, our flight director is set. We're descending via VNAV. I'm gonna set our auto brakes. Um, VNAV is doing okay. Maybe a three thousand. That's our next altitude. I'll go ahead and pre-program that in.
You flew into Toronto. Very nice. Oh, this is gorgeous, isn't it? Get rid of uh, no more drag. <laughs> For my 10k special, you want me to do an X Plane 11 long haul and play Infinite Fight at the same time? Not a bad idea, honestly. I don't know, the long haul, I don't know about the long haul part. We'll see. I've been kind of thinking about it. We're actually slowly creeping up on 10K. I don't know when it's going to happen. It's coming, though. Uh, it could either happen in October. It could happen sooner. It could happen later. It can happen in the year. Who knows? But we're less than 500 subs away from that 10K. So that's pretty crazy, man. The road to 10K has been a journey, but uh, we're getting there. Drag required. All right. I do also like on X and Vira, when you get close to the clouds, it starts to get really bumpy. Like when you get like right above them, right below them, or when you get into them, it actually gets bumpy. All right, again, we already have our ILS pre-program. Uh, we're basically on a angled left downwind for Dublin. And double checking, there's no ATC in the area. So freaking cool. Uh, landing on runway uh, 16. Yeah, 16. I was runway one, uh, one six. Let's not. Let's see if we can not have a Ryanair landing today. <laughs> Since we're flying right here. Captain crew seats for landing, please. Wait, why is sixteen unrealistic? Ladies and gentlemen, as we are about well, it's too late now. I should have told me that an hour ago. All right, FNG, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> At 10k Q and A with my dog. That's funny. Yeah, it's too late for me to switch runways. Sorry. Uh, we never got that Aedis, by the way, which sucks. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. That's a thing? QH 0997? I've never seen a QH like that before. I've never seen. I didn't know you could go that way. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, 3,000. 1,000 to go. Copy. Yeah, I, I mean, I wish I knew that it'd be more realistic to land on way 28, but again, I don't live in, in Ireland or know anything about Ireland or Dublin, so how am I supposed to know that I'm supposed to land on? <laughs> I land where the wind tells me to land. Ago. Nothing against you, I'm just saying it's just, you know, how it is. What's funny though is people in VAT team like to like get really upset when people land on the wrong runways. Approach mode, armed. I'm gonna take control of the speed. Wow, it's going to be a true ILS. We cannot see the runway. We are 10 miles away, though. I'm going to go flaps 5. All right, there's a localizer. 
established on the localizer ILS one way one six. <laughs> IFMG is triggered now. I feel you though. I feel you. Like if I if I if you were landing in my home airport and you landed on the wrong runway, I would be triggered too. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yes, but there's no way for people foreigners to know what land runway is active. Well, there probably is a way, but there's no easy way to know. Uh, what runway is the local favorite, I guess you could say. All right, I'm gonna turn the turn off because I always forget. Wing whales are coming on. Oh, we're landing, people. I love approaches like this because I can't even see the runway yet. Like, I have no idea what the, <laughs> everything looks like. Am I using uh, X and Viral? Yes. Do I recommend it? Uh, not really. Not yet. Uh, I recommend it if you are interested in like alpha beta testing it, because even though it's a full release, like it's technically in alpha, because uh, of some of the things that it's going. But they've been updating it. They've been a actively working on it, and they said that they have some pretty big updates coming out soon. So um, I enjoy it. I personally personally like 2, it. Seven miles out. Seven seven point five DME. Oh, this is gonna be a fun approach. Seatbelts on, my people. I don't know how low these clouds are gonna go. How low can you go? All right, let's kill those uh, spoilers. We don't need those anymore. All right, gear down. What up, Demi122? Good to see you, man. All right, guys, from now on till we touch down, sterile cockpit. Oh, we got some rain. Let's turn some windshield wipers on. Okay, that's too low. Come on, give me some actual windshield wipers. There we go. Let's get a slow down. Wow, I seriously can't see anything. We're five miles away. Nope, 4.2, sorry. Gear is down, three green. Auto brake is set. Flaps are coming down. 3.5 miles away. I'm starting to be able to see a little bit of uh, ground I do have ortho scenery I don't have like yeah I have ortho scenery out here in Dublin as well as a custom airport out here and yeah we'll try to do a quick turn when we get out here I'll reload the aircraft still can't see the runway but I do see some aircraft twenty seven hour rain dude said wow All right, two miles out. Oh, I see it. I thought that was a tower. Okay, cool. All right, we're right on. All right, I see the runway now. I can take control. Five hundred. Off. Thank you. All right, my controls. 400. It's always weird coming out of auto throttle and trying to control the throttle because it like goes way too fast. <laughs> All right, over high now. That's great. Versus green. And oh baby, we used the whole runway today. Alright, six knots. 
What up, first time officer Haza? Yes, sir, you joined at the perfect time. Welcome to Dublin International. Very nice. My uh, spoilers didn't come out. I can make a left here, I believe. Arrived on time. We hope you enjoyed yours, and we look. And again, this is custom scenery, guys. This is free. Dublin International by TDG. I was just turned on to him yesterday. He has a bunch of uh, really good, very high quality scenery out in uh, in all over the world, but mostly in Europe. And uh, I was been talking about flying more into Europe, and I've been wanting to find some more good quality scenery out here. And here you go. All right, flaps up. All right, we'll get her parked. Get the passengers. Uh, Disembarked, and then uh, we're gonna head back to Leeds again. Hopefully, flying jet too. There's a marshal here. I don't know where Ryanair parks. So I'm just gonna park wherever. Sorry, IFMG. <laughs> Sorry, uh, people from Ireland. I don't know where anybody parks. So I'm just gonna park wherever I feel like it. And this is where I feel like parking. <laughs> oh, the locals are gonna be mad at me. Hey, why is there no more? Okay, yeah, we got it. I think this has auto gate. I th yeah, I think it's auto gate. I would turn the light off, but I probably wouldn't stop in time. So we'll wait till we actually stop. No, keep going. Here it is! Right on the money, baby. As Aer Lingus is taking off above us. Perfect timing to go to the outside view. Alright. Oh, wait, I want to see the... Man, I wish it was raining in Leeds. So I want to see the, the wet runway texture. Alright, we're going to shut the engines off here. And uh, we should have turned APU on already, but we didn't. It's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to shut it off. So our landing rate today was 211 feet per minute. I need to get that... Um, maybe one of you guys could help me out later. Uh, figure out the the stream landing calculator thing. Like um, like where you guys can like basically bet on what my land rate is going to be. I need to figure out how to get that set up. I think that'd be really cool. I know Project Fly does it, and I have Project Fly. I'm using Project Fly now, but I don't have whatever the specific thing is you need to actually uh, make it go in your live stream. You know what I'm saying? So let me know. Go to settings and streamer tools. Uh, let's go watch this replay first and then we'll, we'll probably figure it out for the next time I do an X-Plane live stream. So I don't want to spend too much time making you guys wait. Alright, I'm going to disconnect the ground power just so it doesn't, we don't have a floating power unit. Because I don't know if that still happens, but in some planes, if you don't turn off all the extra stuff, it like stays with you in the replay. Alright, we'll also disconnect from Bat Sim for a bit. Man, I'm, I love flying into rain places. I was not expecting to fly into weather, like rain. That was cool. We didn't, I don't think we were able to see until we were about five miles out and we were probably around like 500 feet or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Replay time. I know. Where's the view I'm looking for?
Yeah, wind wasn't hard. The wind wasn't an issue. It was just visibility. Please ignore the rain particles coming off of the wheels. <laughs> so we did land a bit long. Very nice. I'll take it for first landing of the day. How that wet water, that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, wouldn't watch it for one more view. I don't wanna to spend too much time out here in Dublin, but uh, that was a pretty dope landing. I love all the wet, the water effect coming off of the runway, that's legit. All right, here it is. Yes, sir. Next flight's going to be Dublin back to... Actually, no, not EGGW. We're flying to EGNM back to Leeds again. Because uh, I know Seneca loves the approach. And I'm, I'm going to like it, too. I know I'm going to like it. <laughs> the amazing low-frame <laughs> approach into Leeds is what you have to look forward to. Uh, uh, if we do Jet 2, uh, can you guys tell me what's the uh, IKO code for Jet 2? So IFMG, is your house uh, like? Can you see the planes when they're landing? Like, are you are you like on the approach anywhere? Is it EXS for Jet Two? No, we're flying about the leads. I want to fly about the leads. I already have a plan. I'm not changing. <laughs> I'm not changing the flight plan. Chanix? Is that really what Jet 2 is? Chanix? Oh, good to know. I would not have known that. I would have been like, Jet 2 116 is what I would have said. <laughs> oh, they did. The spoilers did come out. That is cool. Look at that freaking water. That looks dope. Man, that's cool. One more time. But there's no promises that we're gonna get a good, get a good landing back where we're going next. So I want to make sure we appreciate this while we can. <laughs> oh, crack out Poland! I guess. It didn't show the water this time. Wing view? Okay, I'll give you one wing view, guys. Uh, you get the left one. And then we gotta go. We gotta go. We got places to be! Yeah, I, uh, uh, I don't live there anymore. Uh, actually, technically, from my window where I'm sitting right now, I can see the ILS from my 08 right, 08 left in Houston, so... I live even closer to a small little uh, airport. A little, uh, it's not a regional airport, but a small little like uh, class Delta. And uh, I always see Cessna 172s, I see tail draggers, I see Piper, like all those little trainer aircraft. I see those flying over my house all day, every day. So it makes, it's, it's hard, it's hard for me to forget that I want to fly with them flying over me all the time. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna jump out of replay mode.
And uh, let's see if uh, I already loaded into Jet 2. Livery, let's see if it's in here. No, it's exactly what I was expecting. Yeah, it's not. So I would have to completely restart my X plane for the show up. I don't want to. I really don't want to restart X plane. Uh, shoot. Fine, we'll do it. We're flying freaking jet too. Nah, we'll do Ryanair. Forget it. We're just gonna fly Ryanair. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do all that. All right, change location. I guess we could start from where we are. I don't know. We'll change gates. I don't know where Ryanair parks, so we'll just park wherever this is. We landed on one six. We'll take stand one twenty three. Confirm. Yeah, we'll, we'll save Jet 2 for another day. I don't want to have to wait. Tui? Oh, we could fly Tui. You're trying to be nice and send I already have it. I have the Jet 2 livery. Um, like, I already have it installed. It's just because we haven't. Uh, I, ha I would have to restart X Plane to get it to actually populate. Let's do Tui. I want to fly something different. Why is there two of them? What's the difference of these two? Uh, I think I prefer the yellow. Yeah, we'll do yellow. I've never flown Tui Fly before, so we'll do that. Tui Fly, German. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the information. I didn't know that you spoke to me. All right, legitness. All right, let's get this thing set up. Sorry, Seneca. I'm still debating, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I asked you guys earlier, like, to speak up and say if you want me to fly Jet 2, and nobody said anything, so... I'll give you one last chance, because I love you guys, and be also because we're flying to your home airport, Seneca. If you want me to fly Jet 2, give me a Jet 2 in the chat right now. You have 60 seconds to speak up. If you don't care, then say Ryanair or Tui, I don't know, whatever. Countdown is going. Look at my frames. Trash. I don't even want to look at it. Go away. Alright, we got a couple jet twos. We could definitely do E-Jet another time, but not today. One Ryanair. All right, Jet 2 wins. Oh, stand by then. I got to restart X plane. Let's see how long that takes. Like my X plane doesn't really take that long to load, except when I'm in an area with a lot of scenery, which we are right now. So because of that, it's going to take a bit of time to get X plane back up. So. Stand by. Matter of fact, I'll just lead me up so you can look at my face. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> this is some weird as heck music. Next. Alright, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get the Jet 2 loaded, guys. Just for you. So what was it again? Can you guys remind me what the uh, IKO code for Jet 2 is? I'm trying to file it on, on Simbri. No, I mean, I'm trying to follow on uh, Vatsim. Yeah, man, Hugo, join me, bro. We're about to hop back in here in just a few minutes. Chanex. I mean, okay, yeah, Chanex, that's cool, but what's the, like, the three-digit code? EXS? All right, got you. All right, we're cruising at 23,000 feet. It's a little bit lower than we flew here. New flight. And now we should have a new livery. There it is. It's mysterious. Nobody knows what it is. 
tracking real world times about five o'clock p.m. We no sir, no scenery, bro. You scenery, Hugo. We almost flew here yesterday. <laughs> the free scenery that you and me get for Dublin. Uh, X plane, please don't crash. You guys, you guys can't see it, but on my screen, I have the not responding <laughs> message on my X plane. Uh, Demi one two two one. I'm gonna be. I don't know. I don't, what gate? I don't remember what gate I'm gonna be at. Alfie, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. This is, oh wow. Yeah, X plane is taking up all of my computer's energy right now. I don't even have, I just realized that I don't have my standby screen loaded in my OBS yet. Yeah, no, stream is stuttering because x is loading and it's taking up everything. Literally taking up all, like, x uses all of my computer's ability just to start. Once it starts, it flows pretty well. But like, just the, 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 the launching of x itself is very stressful on my computer. Especially here. Uh, my cost index is only 20 actually for this leg. All right, what is that message you have on top of my screen? Go away. Okay, is the sun setting? You are. All right, guys, jet two. Very nice. Okay, I don't think it's gonna have like a custom air stair, but you know, it might. All right, let's kill the music for a little while so we can appreciate the uh, Zebos audio bird sounds. What's your problem? Okay. All right, let's get this. Let's go through this pretty quickly. Let's get uh, reconnected to Vatsim as Echo X Ray Sierra 116 for Chanix 116. Oh, there's an error. Oh, I know why. I'm also using another app called Live Traffic, which I actually do recommend if you want to get some live traffic around your uh, airport, especially if you fly to like um, big airports. Honestly, it didn't take that long for uh, X Plane to get started. Pretty proud of you, buddy. Good job. <laughs> okay, now I can get signed on to. Uh, Swift doesn't like when you have other things using your models. XS one one six. I don't know what gate I'm at. Again, I, I honestly don't know. Connect. All right, we're on. All right, let us see. Getting a little bit better frames now. Still don't want to see it because it only get worse from here. Ground services, set shocks, GPU, connect, air stairs. Wait, I gotta open the door first. Door, forward operation. Ground services started. Air stairs down. Uh, how much fuel do we need today, beautiful people? We have 5.5 kilograms, that's more than enough. And it's still raining. I'm gonna go 5.0 today. Just so that we can see our little, uh, what's her name again? Cameron, Margaret, Matt. <laughs> Forgot. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Habitat, are you working now? Let's see if you're working now. Let's see if a fresh reload. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just gotta restart and explain to get them to act right. You know what I mean? He don't, he don't, he don't appreciate nothing. Airport. All right, that's our first chart. And then today we'll be using the Liffy 2 Echo departure.
This is what I was, this is what I was talking about last night. Like, look at all these Liffies. Why there's two so freaking many? Did I say Echo? I said Echo, so I think it's this one. Pretty much everybody's X Plane loads slowly. Like, it's very few. It, unless you have a really good computer and you have literally no add ons at all, uh, you'll have a fast, like, what, <laughs> a fast load speed. When I first installed X Plane on my computer, this thing started up in less than 60 seconds. Okay, next, uh, we need to search. Oops. See what I'm saying? I click on airport, it takes me here. E G N. M, our final stop today. Captain Geo, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Arrival. No arrival. That's not good. We should we should always have an arrival, but we don't. So we'll just do approach. Uh, we landed on runway one. We took off runway one six. No, one four. Was it one four? Yeah, it was one four. Uh, I don't know what the difference between the two. So we're just gonna pick the first one. Hmm. I don't know if I like that approach. What's the other one look like? Ah, oh, they're the same mostly. So we'll just do the first one. And then I'll get the airport diagram. Beautimus. Alright, this is where we are. And uh, let's see, what are the winds? Uh, what is it? The... Okay, that's fine. That is fine. All right, uh, what do we do next? Everything else. Uh, why are my views not working? What happened? Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. All right, you leave that screen. There we go. All right. Uh, we already have ground power. Battery come back on. Turn on one fuel pump plus APU. <laughs> London Center just went offline. Oh, hilarious. Alright, emergency lights, window heat, panel lighting. Uh, we had, what did I say, 23,000 is our cruise. Uh, logo lights on, because it's a little dark now since it's overcast. Steady nav lights. APU is firing up. I think, did you say what, London Center is online or it's offline? Either way, I don't think. Is Leeds under London Center? I don't remember. I don't know if it's far enough. Or I don't know if it's far enough south for London Center. Position we are at. Yeah, I wasn't expecting any ATC today anyway, so I'm not worried about that. You know me, you know how it is. Like, as soon as we end the stream, ATC is gonna pop up everywhere. That's just how life is for me. <laughs> uh, let's get that fuel truck out here though. We forgot to call him or her. <laughs> oh wow, look at, wow. Look at this, literally no visibility now. This is worse than when we left. Definitely worse, look at that, that looks, that looks good though. Well, hello there, Jet 2 person. Wish you had wheels. I don't know why you don't have wheels. Well, hope, hoping for the best for you, Alfie, man. Hopefully you can get back into the sim sometime soon, bro. 
the next best. It's the next best thing. If you can't fly in real life, the simulator really is where you want to be, man. Or at least if you can't fly yet. I guess we're already done with the fuel. This is a good looking plane. This is a really good looking plane. All right, Fujian. Ground power is coming off. Don't need it anymore. And flight plan. All right, our weight and balance should be all set up. Uh, reserves. I just always put 1.0. Like I don't put a realistic number. I just kind of always put one ton. I think that's what it is. Cost index for me is 20. Uh, cruise is 23,000 feet. So 230. Transition in uh, Europe is 5,000. Outside air temperature is plus 15 degrees Celsius. Next page. Flaps will take off at 5. 119, 120, 134. Center gravity 24.1. That'll give us a trim of 4.2. Verified takeoff speeds. I already did. Okay, that's what he's asking. Departure. Runway 28. Wait. What's the weather right now? Alright, weather right now is 150 at 8. QH is 0, 9er, 9er, 7. Um, but our Irish buddy said that they land on 2, land in 2, two 8. I don't know if they take off the same way. Oh, uh, sim brief though, which you can't always believe, said that we should take off runway 10. Where the heck is runway 10? Let's find out. Let's see if we want to agree with that. Take off on 16. All right, 16 is here, 10 is way the heck over there. Yeah, 16 sounds right. I mean, it says the winds were 150, so it makes sense to take off on runway 16. So we'll do 16, same runway to, same runway we landed on. Now departure is... That's not it. But not departure. I guess because of my runway. Uh, we're just gonna pick this one. <laughs> it's Liffy. Alright, route. Activate. Set. Next page. Uh, Quebec. 37. Mallard. I'm not gonna lie, flying out here kinda makes me wanna play Euro Truck Simulator. Lima, Niner, seven five, and the wall. At the wall, we'll go direct to the pole. At the pole, we'll go direct to the LBA. And top one. All right, and that'll be our last waypoint before we land in E N E G N M. <laughs> uh, all right, so next the, the arrival. ILS runway one four, so we took off from I believe. Uh, L B A one or two? I don't know. Why are you asking me? It's a difference of one and two. Let's go with one. See if we get lucky today. Execute. Altitude constraint at LBA 2000. Roger. And uh, I believe that is all. Check our legs page. Our I Oh, wow. I did all that before the IRS aligned. Ha ha. All right. Flight plan. We'll step through this for a bit. Hopefully, uh, this Zebo won't give us any problems this time. Bye. Okay, that works. That looks good. Pretty cool little landing there. Alright, so I'll do it back to map on my right side. I'm turning the lights on. And I'm going to put that to flight plan. And 20 miles. Put the right FMC to program. Um, let's go ahead and finish up the loading. Uh, is Project Fly loaded? It is, okay. Are we on VATSIM? Yes, we are. 
Did I miss something? No. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go back here and start a flight leg. Welcome everybody aboard. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, this is your captain speaking. On behalf of all the crew, welcome on board this flight. Oh yeah, we also need to push back. Ground to cockpit. Wow, I can't see anything. This is nuts. Where's the taxiway? Oh, there it is. I'm right, gonna go to the right. Jeez, <laughs> that is crazy. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. What up, Roger? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. I've been good. Toe is driving up. Thanks for asking. Got that. That boarding music, man. They jamming on Jet Two. All right, uh, five thousand. Wow, that's like I never do things in the same order. I don't know if you noticed that. The first time we set the flight up, I did everything in a different order. <laughs> I do most of the same stuff just in a different order. Alright, transponder set. And on standby, uh, I don't know why I'm not getting the ATIS, so we're gonna switch back okay, to the Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. 1228. Baldinal casement information pop up. 1600 Zulu weather. Now it's working. Wind 140 at 8, visibility more than 10, rain. Sky conditions 1000 scattered, temperature 14, dew point minus 19, altimeter 2944, arriving runway 23, departing runway 23, advise on initial contact you have popped Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Why am I getting the ATIS on standby? So connected and bypassed and inserted. Really? Parking brake. information, Papa. That ain't right. That ain't right. Dreams do come true. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited, buddy. Yeah, why is 1228 giving us ATIS? We shouldn't be getting ATIS on 1228. It's not, I don't even think it's the right airport. All right, uh, we ready to push, right? No, we still have the air stores, air stairs out. That's a hazard. All right, air stairs are retracting. Uh, I think they do the chocks, but we'll do the chocks ourselves. Tab is ready. Fuel is ready. Yeah, right, we're good to go. Over here. Oh, door needs to be closed. Oh, it is. Sounds good, Dimmy. Thanks for flying me, buddy. Beacon light is on. We're ready to go. Release parking brake. Packs are off. We have no fuel in the center tank. I do something is on something is oh ha 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 they were already removed starting push back and you may start engine all right guys flight number two we're headed back to Leeds Bed Bed Bedford Bradford <laughs> Welcome on board this Ryanair flight. May we have your attention while Why does it say Ryanair? The safety features on this Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Please remove headphones during this demonstration. There are eight emergency exits. Wait, why are you behind me? I know you were pushing back behind me. 
can you keep pushing back? Because I'm definitely going to hit you. Definitely going to hit you. I'm going to start the engines. Thrust setter, what up though? It's good to see you, bro. Welcome to the stream. We're starting engine number two. Source of cabin pressure, individual oxygen masks will drop automatically from the panel above your head. If this happens, remain seated. Pull down. Alright, that's twenty percent. Introducing fuel. Mouth and breathe normally. Don't worry if the bag does not inflate. Drink up. Oxygen is flowing. To secure the mask, pull one end of the strap. Adults traveling with young children, please attend to your own mask first. Your life jacket is stowed in a pocket beneath your seat or in the panel <laughs> above your head. Is Sorry, I saw ATC meme. It's pretty funny. Alright, we have one good engine. It's already engine number one. We have no visibility out here in Dublin. Connecting to stand by. Do not inflate your life jacket inside the cabin, as to do so will impede your exit. Thank you, Demi. Appreciate that, buddy. Information may be found on the safety card, which is displayed within the area you are seated. Your captain invites you to read this card carefully. Oh yeah, this is this is my kind of visibility right here. Like do 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 do. Table is in the upright and locked position. Armrests down and window blinds open. We recommend. And fresh air vent in the panel above your head. Portable electronic. All right, all right. We have that second engine spooling up. Oh, is disconnected. I'm bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the right. Well, see you next time and have a safe flight. All right, see you next time. Thank you very much. Y'all damn for coming on. Pro P coming on. Packs coming on. If you bleed coming off. If you coming off. People signs are not on. They are now. Emergency signs are armed. Panel lighting as required. Logo light looking good. Taxi light coming on. Runway turn off lights. We're definitely gonna need all that today. Yeah, I'm on like I don't know what frequency I'm on, but for some reason, uh, 1228 is giving us ATIS here in Dublin, which is weird because that's not correct. So why are we rolling? My parking brakes are not on. That's okay. We're going. We're ready. Let's get that airport diagram up. So we can find out where we're going. I right, go into runway 16 and make a right up here when able. You know, Hugo, you know it always takes me forever to get these planes started. Like, it really does. Like, every time I fly anything, it takes me forever to get these things, like, started up in taxi. Ollie Biles, good to see you, man. Where are you at? Anyways, Hugo, are you actually out here with us? Man, this visibility is, like, non-existent. Yes, sir, Seneca, I am on VATSIM. And I think I'm going the right way. One thing we did forget to do was flaps. All right, so we'll take, uh, I think this is Zulu. I actually have no ex no I oh, this is Delta. I have no idea what runway we're, we're taxi we were on. We're just gonna keep going straight so we get to Delta three. Uh why where did the lines go? <laughs> there it is.
Oh, I got you, Hugo. I thought you were flying over here. But yeah, Hugo, the guy that you mentioned to me yesterday when we were flying, a TDG guy, he has free scenery for both Dublin and for Leeds. So you don't have to get the Orbic scenery. All right, how are we looking? All right, we're almost there. Let's get the cabin ready. Wrong button. This one. It's one of those. Can't remember which one. There it is. What up, Scott? Good to see you, man. No, I'm not. I'm not from Leeds. We took off our first flight. We flew out of Leeds, and then uh, we landed in Dublin. Had a nice rainy approach in Dublin. Rainy, low visibility. Now it's not really raining. I think it's scattered showers or something. But uh, we're gonna do our final leg back to Leeds. Hopefully everything goes good. Weather wasn't bad out there. It's just not great out here. Hey, right, runway one six. All right, land lights coming on. Road lights. Everything else is on. Overhead looks good. Auto brakes reject takeoff. Laps are down for takeoff. Transponder to transmit and receive. And receive. There we go. We have our departure plate. Plate. Uh, we'll go left. Technically, we're supposed to go this way. Yeah. All right. Let's see how we look. Anybody on final? Not that I could see anybody. Let's check the actual text chat of Vatsim. Let me be a good person. <laughs> uh, where were we again? Uh, EIDW traffic. Taking off. Runway 16. Departing away from here. Which way are we going? East? Alright, let's get it. Flight direct is on. Oh, wait, nope, not that yet. Uh, LNAF? Armed? LNAF? No, no LNAF? Okay. Okay, I hope LNAF doesn't be weird again. Now, right, here we go, guys. Taking off. Greetings from Argentina. This is the latest version of Zebo, which I don't remember the number. I can't keep up, but I did just download this one today. I updated it today. Look at that glare. Oh, that's so cool. The volumetric lighting. I just noticed that. Oh, that looks so legit. Wow. Sorry. I had to, I had to just take a, a second to pause because and appreciate that. Then you got the, the wet runway blowing in the back. That is so dope. That effect. My flight director is off? No, it's on. Uh, both of them are on. All right, we'll figure it out when we get in here. Park and brake released. Let's go. Uh, I don't know, my own nav is not working. We'll just use heading mode. Oh, wrong one. 80 knots. Oh, 
I was right gear up. Alright, now, uh, now L down is working. Alright, we'll fly by hand for a little bit. Uh, oh, now we got One some thousand. rain. Already, those clouds weren't very high. But for some reason, we're still getting precipitation above the clouds. Yeah. Very realistic. All right, hands off. All right, flaps are up. Thousand to go. Here it is set to off. Climbing to five thousand feet. Uh, where are you going? And it says initial climb is actually 9,000. In, in the past, VNAV, whenever I put VNAV on, it just jumps to like a 5,000 feet per minute climb. Especially this early in the climb. I'm really surprised at how thin that layer of clouds was. I thought we were going to get a bit more clouds. What does that say? IAC 159. What does that mean? Anybody know what that means? Alright, it's gone now. That looks amazing. <laughs> that looks so good. Barry K, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. So it's normal for VNAV to just jump to 5,000 feet per minute? Let us see. Alright, going to 23,000 feet is our final climb. Our final cruise out to the VNAV path is turned on now yeah, let's see what she does yep there it is 5,000 feet per minute uh, have I ever flown to Kenya that was an old question uh, no not on next plane we flown to Kenya on infinite flight when we did our African summer tour about a month ago. That was a lot of fun. Beautiful place out there. What up, legendary gamer? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream as well. Loving this view. Let's turn that down a little bit.
Seneca, yes, that is my real name. I see traffic off my left wing. I admit, Ixen Viral really excels right around sunset and sunrise. That's when it really looks really darn good. All right, we are above 10,000 feet. We do no longer need these landing lights. Or the wing wells. Or logo light. Again, a very short flight, probably like 30 minutes of actual in route flight time. Uh, as of right now, it says we have 22 minutes remaining to get back to Leeds. Overhead looked good though. Yeah, I don't have the route plug. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't um I didn't put a route for an in, insider project fly. <laughs> it's cloudy, you can't enjoy Orbix. It's so you know, just one of those days. You have to come back when it's not as cloudy. It's not as cloudy. I love this view right here behind the wing. It just looks so dope. I think we're leveling off. You trim air to on? What does that do? An isolation valve to auto? Cool, good to know. I've actually never really done that. I'm sure that you are actually exposed to it, but I guess it doesn't break or kill anybody if you don't. But good, I'll probably start I'll probably start adding that to my usual routine. I wonder if they customized the inside of this Jet 2 plane. Nope. Oh, yeah, no, they didn't. Austin. Whenever I get to the cabin, it makes me miss my own plane. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, sir, I'm in the 737-800. Back to Leeds. All right, so uh, we're doing the back so one kilo arrival. Actually, it's not right. This is the old flight plan. <laughs> Let me get the new flight plan in on my screen. ILS DME Zulu, runway 16. And it's only one arrival into Leeds, and we're not using it. All right, we're cruising, we're chilling. Hello again from the flight deck, your captain speaking. We've just reached our cruise altitude and the signal sign is now off. Feel free to move around the cabin, but we do ask if you are in your seat that you do keep your seatbelt loosely fastened in case we do experience any unexpected turbulence. Otherwise, invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Appreciate the info, John. Uh, so it mixes the hot and cold air to achieve the right temperature. Good to know. 
Yeah, I knew that trim air was something I needed to select. I just wasn't sure when in the process to select it. Like, was it something you had to put, do on, on the ground, something you do on the air? Like, I wasn't sure which, when it was needed. And why are our lights still on? There we go. That looks amazing. Freaking ah yeah yeah. X hanging. What's up, man? Good to see. You. Welcome to the stream. We're at flight level two three zero. So this weekend, um. Me and my, I don't know, you probably saw it on my Instagram, if you follow me on, on IG, but uh, me and my wife, uh, we, I bought a new game, well, I bought her a new game, technically, because uh, we got a Nintendo Switch last Christmas, um, back when the Pokemon game came out, because I wanted to play Pokemon. Uh, we also wanted to play Mario Kart, so I don't have a lot of games on my Nintendo Switch, but we were playing um, Mario Kart and Pokemon back then, but I really haven't been using it that much, and I felt bad, I'm like, man, I spent all this money on this Nintendo Switch, and we barely even freaking play it. And the per reason I got it in the first place was for like me to have me and my wife to have a game that we could play together and enjoy together. Because you know she doesn't play flight sims, she doesn't play a lot of these PC games that I like to play, racing and things like that. She's not really interested in that kind of thing. Um, but I've been wanting to play you know video games with her or something, you know, just something to have fun. And I've just been trying to, I guess you know, one thing you'll know when it comes to relationship, you're always continuously and continually learning more and more about your you know your your, your person. And, um, and so, uh, anyways, I don't know how she stumbled upon it, but, uh, she was playing Mario Kart, uh, Saturday, I think it was, and then, I guess she went to the store, like the little Nintendo Switch store, to see, I guess, what else was, was available, and, uh, she found, uh, it was called, uh, Mario something, I can't remember the name of it, Mario, Super, Super Mario, some, Deluxe. Super Mario Deluxe, something like that. Not Mario Builder, or whatever that's called, but Super Mario Deluxe. And uh, she's been wanting, like, she's really, like, since we got the Nintendo Switch, she's been wanting, like, a, a legit Super Mario game. Uh, like, the classic type. And uh, that is definitely it. That thing is really dope. And uh, anyway, so I bought it on the Switch. We downloaded it, and we started playing it. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Like, it looks really good. It came out, actually, this year in January. I didn't realize, realize it, but it was, it was really fun. I really liked it. Mario Odyssey is the best Mario game I don't think. Due to me choosing the wrong uh, CL, I, you caught up. I'm good. I'm chilling. <laughs> but and if you pass, don't fly through me. That's all I ask. If I can get it, you you recommend it. Is it like the, like, what what type of Mario game is it? You know what I mean? Like, is it like where you, is it like the, the classic Mario look where, like, it's like left to right? Or is it like one of those other type of Mario, like those, like, new gen type Mario games? But I'm not really interested. I don't think, I don't, we don't really like those kind. We like the, the, not the old, old classic. Like, it doesn't have to be the old, but, you know. Hey, man, didn't I say you could fly past, just don't through? What the heck, bro? Oh, that's annoying. You know I hate that when it happens on Infinite Flight. I hate it even more on, on the X-Plane. I, I know that now. But anyways, if you overtake me, I guess this is why we had to be at different altitudes. Anyways. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll have to check it out. I'll take a look at what Mario Odyssey is. Because I think that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we've been playing it. it. It pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. I forgot how much I like. I got frustrated with that game. Um, I got very frustrated. We kept losing the same level over and over and over. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this anymore. And so I left and I went to the store, took a break. And I came back. She was still playing. And uh, she finally beat the level we were trying to beat. So I was thankful for that. Man, this is a really good looking plane. Jet 2. Pretty cool, John. Uh, that's dope. I didn't know you were a mechanic. That's a pretty cool job. And now you work on MD-11s, 747-400s. So you work on like the older aircraft, it sounds like. And uh, you're in New York 
until Friday. So are you working in New York right now, or are you just kind of like hanging out in New York? Are you out there for fun, or are you working on some on something out there? And what's that like? Like, what's it like being an aircraft mechanic? Like, that's a game we don't have yet that we need. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a car mechanic simulator. I freaking love car mechanic simulator. I love it. I love it so much. I love restoring. I love doing the regular mechanic stuff, but I also really love doing, like, the, the restoration project stuff. Um, but there's a plane mechanic simulator out there that I tried, and it's still kind of like a work in progress. Like, it has mostly, like, old World, world War type planes and I'm just not that interested in that type of aircraft like I don't really care to to work on those kind of planes but I want to work on like a 737 uh in a sim I want to be able to do a mechanic simulator for you know the MD-11 74 whatever you know what I mean I want to do like modern air aircraft 7172 I think it'd be really cool um it'll also teach people you know how to to work on their own planes as well just like car mechanic simulators taught me a lot about cars I mean everything is not in there but a lot of stuff is that little sexy jet too. All right, cool, uh, Scott. I'll, I'll definitely look into it though. Mario Odyssey. I've heard a lot about it. I've never played it. I've never been a big Nintendo person. I've, this Nintendo Switch was was my first Nintendo ever. Um, I've never had a Nintendo sixty four. Never had any of the Nintendo products um, until my Switch. So. All right, we're getting pretty close. Those were 10 minutes out. That's cool. We have a 747 going to China and back. What, what are they? Is it a. What is it? Why? why? <laughs> Hollow Knight. 2D side scroller game. All right, I'll check that out too. Uh oh, I think we're probably on top of this hint. We're at engine died. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> yeah, top of the hint's coming up. So we're gonna want to come all the way down the 4,000 feet to be there at LBA. Sun is setting out here. Love it. Excited about a, 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 a nice. Oh, that's gonna be dope. Seeing the uh, that new scenery with the sunset. Ay oh, yeah yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, let's hope the VNAV will work for us and uh, it'll descend on its own. That's pretty cool, though. You get to travel and fly and operate, or I say operate, work on aircraft as a uh, plane mechanic. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool gig. Oh, it's more paperwork to end. Oh, that sucks. But, you know, it comes with a job. Every job has its every job has its like you know its thing that you deal with. So let's get some more of that outside view. I was really feeling that. I was really digging that. Top of the sitting ten miles. Right of that. Would I really? That's cool. Even on Vatsim, I would have got wake turbulence from that plane. So, is wait, hold on. Mind blown. I know they were working on wake turbulence. I knew that. I didn't know that it was going to work with actual multiplayer clients like Vatsim and Pilot Edge and things like that. I thought it was maybe like only like a single, single player thing where only in sim, or not in sim, only like if you're, which rarely happens. <laughs> At least for me, I like never fly solo with AI traffic on. Um, but that's cool. That's really cool. If that's happening. Yes, sir. The glorious Yorkshire sunset. I didn't know what that was until now. Thank you. Don't listen to VNAV descent. I won't miss it. Oh, good to know now. We're already there. Yeah, I bet that does. That's if any any job that has to do with fixing things, um, there's always a troubleshoot part, and I'm, it, yeah, I I personally don't really enjoy troubleshooting. It's it's really annoying. Uh, with my job, I I don't do any mechanic type of work. But I do a lot of web design, and um, websites always break, and there's always some code somewhere that broke it. You know, what I mean, you just never really know what the heck it is.
This flight back was definitely faster than the flight there. But we also flew a few circles in here <laughs> on the way here. Oh, dope. You're a web designer too? We should hook up, man. We should connect for sure. We'll learn something from you, hopefully. I'm not a coder though. I don't, I'm not on the coding side. I'm more on the, on the app design, the graphic design side of web design. Uh, Felix, no, I have no idea when the 8350 is coming. What up, HD? Always good to see you, bro. Always, always good to see you, bro. Yes, sir, these clouds look incredible. Into our descent into Leeds, Bradford. Brand new scenery by Orbix. And looking forward to see how it looks like at sunset. Wow. Yeah, troubleshooting is, is not fun. When you figure it out, you, you're very happy, like, because it usually takes forever. Like, there's been days, there's been days for me at work where, like, I literally, like, troubleshoot all day, and I just feel like I got nothing done at all. And those are the days that I hate, like, it's so, like, frustrating. Let's check on his descent, because we might be descending a little late, and we're all right. But, yeah, those are days are just so frustrating, because, like, you usually have a bunch on your plate that you already need to get done. Uh, but then you have like this one thing that you can't do and it's probably like a very important thing that you got to get done first. All right, so while we're uh, descending, let's go ahead and uh, get ahead of the aircraft here and uh, let's start thinking about um, our ILS and our approach. So again, landing into Leeds, EGNM is our approach. Uh, gonna be on 1109. And switch and so again I always just do them on both I do as a backup and uh, CRS and to leads the final CRS will be 139 I'm probably gonna fly the full approach yeah we're gonna fly the full approach why does it say drag require where you have drag out Look at it, it's getting, it's actually getting dark in the cockpit too. I wasn't expecting to land at night, but I'm actually pretty excited about landing at night. Uh, what was I looking for? I already forgot. Oh, CRS 139. Why is this so high? So now that I have scenery out here in uh, Leeds, I'm going to have to fly out here more often. Like. You can't just buy scenery and then never fly there but once. Like, you gotta actually start flying out of there, like, you know, frequently. That's how I feel, anyways. Whenever I get scenery somewhere, I'm like, all right, I gotta fly out here because I don't wanna, you know, I wanna get my money's worth. I don't wanna, like, hey, I flew there on a the stream, I flew there to say I flew there, and I wasted 30 bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, that's not, that's not how it works. Uh, I have uh, the camera, the camera. I'm using X camera, um, so I'll have like freaking 20 preset camera views, and that's why I'm able to jump and jump and jump. Sounds good, Scott. Yeah, I um, for me, I I do web design, like front end, front end web design, and I do a lot of web 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 management. Like, like there's a account that I have where. I don't really design much for them anymore. I just keep it updated. Like every day I'm working on keeping it updated. They have like tons of stuff they're changing uh, pretty much every day or updating. And so I just basically update the site um, every day. And then I have some other sites that you know I'm working on and, and doing things like that. So. All right, I think I'm starting to get some stutters because we are approaching the area. I agree, John. Dang, I keep getting stutters. I agree, John. I hope that the SSG was supposed to be bringing us a really good 747, but I don't know what happened with that. 
it, like last I heard it was coming soon that was months ago so uh, but we do uh, we have 747s we have the default 747 and we have the SSG 747 we don't have any really good quality uh, 747s right now which is really sad what's our altitude all right there's 10,000 I agree, Hugo. I spend way too much money on flights, and I really do. I, I've actually been doing really good. I've been really, I've been doing really good these last few months of like stopping myself from buying unnecessary things in flights. And you know, you really gotta budget yourself because there's you could go broke, especially with Orbix. With Orbix by itself, you can go broke uh, <laughs> buying flights and add-ons. And so I had to stop. Like you know, I can't buy every single one. Like. You know, I, I need that money for other things. You know, I need to save money. You know what I mean? Like, you just can't. You can't. Especially when, like, me doing reviews as well. Like, when it comes to doing reviews, like, some, like there's, a, there's a new X-Cub that came out last Friday. And it, most of you guys know, I did the Carbon Cub review by Big Tire. I love that plane. Absolutely recommend it. Um, and I was like, huh, the X-Cub is out now by a different developer. And I was like, maybe I should do a review for that. Um... And I almost did it, but at the same time, I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to like the plane. Like, there's nothing telling me that I'm going to like the plane. Uh-oh, frame rates are dropping. Um, so I don't even know if I'm going to like the plane. So it's, it's a, a lot of times, if you're getting a plane from a new developer or somebody you don't really know, it's it's a it's it's a, a, a gamble or it's a, you know, a risk buying it and then like, all right, I'm going to review it <laughs> or even just flying it in general. And so... Um, I ended up not buying it because I was like, I don't know if it's good or not. Like, I look at the screenshots, like, I'm really not sold. Screenshots did not sell me, like, at all. Like, nothing about the screenshots were like, hey, this is good. So. And actually, Hugo, I don't fly the GA planes once or twice. Like, I actually do fly them. And uh, thankfully now, I have a partnership with um, uh, Carinado and Just Flight, and so... I I no longer have to pay for those as of now. Um, I know I don't have to play, pay for those. So that really, really helps me to be able to continue to put out reviews and not keep dishing out all this money. Because uh, it takes a lot of view, it takes a lot of views on a video to pay back as much as you would pay for a plane. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, for that for that video to pay back how much I pay for an aircraft, I had to get a ton of views on it. And um, but I understand I'm not always going to get it. Yeah, and uh, back to your question, Scott. Yes, I am a freelancer. But I'm actually trying to, I'm looking for more. Some more contracts for myself. Been pretty busy, but you know, you never know. And yes, the SSG has a long way to go, honestly, in my opinion. Um, the SSG is like a X plane 10 plane, so it, it needs an update pretty badly. That's the thing too is like GA planes keep coming out. Like it's, new, it's like a new GA plane almost every week coming out or every couple of weeks. When it comes to airliners, those come out a lot slower because there's not as many of those out there. Uh, F Felix, Flix the hood. Can I help you with shared cockpit? I actually want to do some shared cockpit stuff. Um, I don't really know how to do it. All right, we are approaching. I don't know if we're going to be at the right altitude. We're at 7,000 at the moment. A bit bumpy. Those lights, right? Oh, man. That looks good. That looks so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to drool. I am gonna drool over this scenery. This night lighting just looks, and then the sun is hiding behind the freaking clouds. Oh god! Wow! 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 This should be our screenshot. That's amazing.
Hopefully these are taking. Sometimes when I fight Zebo, my screenshots don't work for some reason. Why? I don't know. So what we're going to do for our approach, we're actually going to fly over the airport, which we're only five miles away from right now. We want to be at four. Let's take a look at this real quick. So this is what it looks like. So we're here. We're going to intercept the LBA the VOR, fly over it, and then fly this way and then back. So when we get to LBA, we want to be at 4,000. We're pretty high from that. When we get back over here, we'll be at 3,000. So I'm going to change our thing to 3,000. And I may actually manually descend it. We're only 4,000, 2,000 feet away from where we want to be. So, all right, let me focus on this approach. And then uh, maybe we can talk a little bit more when we uh, watch the replay. If you have any more questions, guys. And you could always join on Discord if you ever want to ask me something. Or you can send it on Instagram. The best two ways to get, get in contact with me. And I'm also going to do, 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 do. Uh, where is it? Prepare for landing. Shot clear. What's up, Good man? Oh my God! Look at that view on the right. Eee! Eee! <laughs> I don't fly out of here that often at night. I'm be honest with you. Like I don't think I've ever done a night flight in uh, the True Earth area, and so I've never seen the night lighting. So this is just like. Completely new to me. All right, Demi's on a 16 mile final. Rather, we'll be behind you. Amazing, amazing. All right, let's do it. This is probably one of my favorite flights I've done in a while. <laughs> Just like the mixture of of scenery and clouds and weather and and views and just it's just eye candy everywhere. What about a blue Cessna citation? I want to make one. I still haven't made one. I need to make one. You talking about the Mustang or are you talking about the uh, Citation Two? All right, we're gonna need some visibility. I'm gonna turn those wipers on. All right, how are we looking, guys? Before, uh, can somebody give me the before landing checklist for me? All right, uh, let's see, weather. X and viral, X and viral, X and viral. I don't know why my ADISs are not working. Uh, 1006, 160 at nine. I don't know what negative DZ is. I don't know what that means. Hopefully it's nothing bad. Alright, 106, it's Q and H. And I'm gonna go ahead and take control of uh, the speed. And the vertical speed. And we're going down 3,000. This is going to be one amazing approach. Get our speed down. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's Leeds over there, I think. Or over there, I can't remember. Again, guys, this 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 right here is where X Enviro really excels under low light conditions, sunset, sunrise, when those volumetric clouds really show off. Sorry for the freeze. I took a screenshot. All right, let's check on this. All right, we're coming down. Speed's coming down. I will take the time really quickly to tell you guys, um, I will be out of town 
on Thursday and Friday of this week. One of the reasons that I did a little bit of a longer stream today because uh, I knew I wouldn't be around for the end of the week. So, um, I'll, uh, we'll see. I, I haven't really made, like, I, I'm really bad at planning ahead. Like, saying, all right, tomorrow I'm streaming this, the next day I'm streaming this. Like, it's really hard for me to do that because sometimes I want to change my mind. <laughs> um, but Wednesday, I'm planning on doing some eye racing. That's all I do know. Planning, but it could change. But Wednesday, I'm planning to do eye racing. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do, I know it's going to be road racing. I'm not sure it's going to be a GT or what. We'll see. We'll just have to find out when we get it there. All right, approach mode armed. And then tomorrow's kind of up in the air. Eh, kind of thinking about doing infinite flight. Let's we'll see. Uh, yes, I am. I'm doing X and Viral. This is X and Viral currently. I, I don't think we need spoilers anymore. We are 7.4 DME. Get this aircraft slowed down. Leads should be off our nose. Yep, I see it. I thought it was this one, but it's like way over there. To be a good time to turn off those cabin lights. Wait, that doesn't. Do I'm thinking of the freaking A320. How do you turn the lights? There it is. Uh, let's go with night sleep. Oh, landing. That's what I want. There we go. That looks better. Alright, 5.7. We'll go with flaps down. We have a 13 knot headwind. Land lights are on. Strobes are on, wing well on, anti collisions are on, logo lights on. That's so funny. When we took off, this storm that we're flying in into right now was actually over the water, and now it's over here. I think no, I don't see it. Alright, we're on the localizer. Four miles out. And we are on the glide slope as well. Don't quite see the airport. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, we have traffic on the runway. Let's go ahead and announce we're landing. GNM. Uh, short final. Was it one way one four or one six? One six. You live 15 minutes away from Leeds and it's not raining? Yeah. X and Viral is not always extremely accurate with its with like where the weather is. <laughs> I'll I'll say that. I think it's like two hours old or something like it might be like delayed like it may not be like if it's not raining right now right now it's probably not you gotta enable ski rain effects what is that what is ski rain effect <laughs> so Alfie says he doesn't live in Leeds but he lives in the UK and it's been raining all day windshield effects ski what does that even mean I'm really curious can I do it before I land what is it at Why are you telling me to pull up? Oh, because it's low. Alright, let's go ahead and do this by, by hand for the rest of the way. I have clear visibility. And auto throttle going off. My controls. Oh, I see it. Oh, I like the ski way better. <laughs> Alright.
Sorry, I am fully under control. Oh, oh yeah, it looks nice. You can't really see it because it's dark, but I can see it. I'm like, what do you mean, two little flaps? I thought I had the flaps open. <laughs> Whoops. I had most of the flaps down, not all of them. Alright, let's see if we can get them to center a little bit better. Last minute, not much wind, so I don't have to really worry too much about that. Versus green. Eighty knots. Man, Hugo, I wish you would have told me about that ski effect earlier when we were landing in Dublin. All right, um, I believe there's a back taxi. Oh, we can turn here, we can turn here, we can turn here. Uh, turn! Alright, so we don't have to back taxi. We're good! Oh, look at that. That's a sick shot. Leaving the runway from the wing view. That looks so dope. I can't see at the front, though. Oh my god, this is why. This is why I can never enjoy the wing view because I always go off the freaking like the thing. Oh man. Oh, turn, 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 turn. The landing was good. <laughs> All right, back to the ramp. I didn't hear any hand claps. I don't know what's, I don't know what's up with that. Another flight on time. Oh yeah, we were max flaps, always. I didn't. See, man, there's a lot of things about this plane I don't know about, Hugo. You should know that by now. Alright, we can turn the landing lights off. Hopefully we'll stay on the yellow line for a little while. Up, 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 up. This is why. Leave the turn offs on. Oh, we're still on it. Nice. Flaps are up. Turn the APU on. Turn off the strobes. Alright, where are we parking today? It is. Like, it's pretty cool. We, when we took off, we got to see the daytime of, uh, of Leeds, and now we get to see the nighttime of Leeds. I was really not expecting to land back here at night. I thought it'd be daytime when we got back. But it's pretty incredible, man. It looks really darn good. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go park at the actual gate. We can see what that looks like. I can change. Okay, you guys teach me all kind of stuff. You can change the landing lights to the LED ones. Let's go see. Where is it? Visual effects, maybe? Strobe light, nope. Where is it at? Where is that option? Variants. Long LED strobes. Where is that at? Oh, it's another page. Landing pulse light. Landing lights LED. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. I can't see any difference, <laughs> to be honest. It just has a different texture. I mean, te different color. 
on the uh, on the ground than the other ones did. But speaking of lighting, look at the light reflection. Did I turn them off? I turned them on. I know I turned them on. Hold on, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in a second. Let's find somewhere to park. Uh, I want an actual gate, though. Oh, I passed them. Yeah, because it says I use Sam. I'm gonna turn around. It says that it uses the Sam gate plugin so I want to kind of see what that's what, what that's what that's about can I turn around here yeah, I'll try it in a second once uh, we get parked okay you're going a little too fast buddy a little too fast I want to slow down there a little, little, little man Can you imagine like people like inside the airport like looking at out the window why is a plane like doing donuts <laughs> on the ramp all right we'll park at that pretty color one right there but again i don't really know how the sam plugin works so we'll just have to find out now never really understood parked in here a little ugly eight seven oh there's a marshaller hello very smooth animations with a marshaller I like it I like it Alright guys, once again, welcome to Leeds Bradford Airport. You guys enjoy that flight? I absolutely did. I think that flight was more fun than the first one. Where the heck is the dome light? <laughs> oh god. There's a dome light in here somewhere. It's up here. I know that it's up here. Where is it? I know I'm looking right at it. Steering right down my. What the heck is it? Above the window heat. Oh, that's why I can't see it. Oh, yeah, that's why I can't see it. I was like, I know it's up here, but I would have been looking forever. There we go. All right. All right. Now we can turn the APU on. We can turn the engines off. My favorite thing to do is listen to the engine turn off. Did I turn both of them off or just one? Oh yeah, both of them. Is it just that windy? Like, why are you not stopping? The engine fans are still going. Oh, good stuff. Turn off the beacon light, Roger. Yeah, that's something I'm supposed to do. These are the things that I should know already. Wait, did you... I just... It, 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 
Did you guys notice that? Oh, now the thing's gonna come. I hear it. Thought I heard it. Yep, here it comes. Cool, so I don't have to actually do anything. I thought for some reason I had to do something for the... I want to learn how to actually get this to work like in the, um, the coding side. Because I want to use the SAM plugin for some of my sceneries. And I don't really understand how to use it. Legit, now we can unload these people. Let's get these doughs open. Uh, ground services, set shocks. No air stairs needed today. Doors. Wait, it's locked. Why are you locked? Why are you locked? That's probably why. Yep. Yep. The gate works, guys. Pretty cool. It, it looks really cool too. I like how it has like an, another texture on the inside. Very good job by Orbix and the SAM team for making that a thing. And the marshaller, did you notice that the marshaller wasn't there? If a plane's not coming, like in real life, like obviously marshallers, like like with auto gate, the marshallers are always standing outside, like they never stop. <laughs> but on, on the SAM plugin, the marshallers are not always there. This is a good screenshot too. Anyways, all right, you guys want to see the replay? Or did you guys not really want to see the replay? No, I know you want to see the replay. Engines are off. Let's see what our landing rate was. Ooh, it was actually harder than I thought. 480. I think it looked better than it felt. I'm going to get off of that VAT sim. Oh, LED landing lights. Yeah, let's take a look real quick. I thought I said it. I thought that I hit the button. So, LDU. Wait, next page. Yeah, landing lights, LED. That's what I have it set to. Yeah, so it's already set to, to have that. So see, that's our LED landing lights right there. Alright, let's go ahead and dive into this replay. Shut the doors. And what else? I think that's everything. There's no GPU. Yeah, we're good. Alright. And the control R. Oh, Alt R. This is gonna be cool. This is gonna be very cool. All right, so my frames are probably gonna be really bad watching the landing. So just so you know, <laughs> I'm just kind of predicting that's that's gonna happen. So we're gonna be watching this in slow motion. Maybe not. That looks too bad. Wow, look at that. We landed on the hump right before the dip <laughs> on the runway. Wow, wow, wow. Again, again, again.
I need to get a video of that really quick. I'm gonna turn off the overlays. I'm gonna record that for the gram. What up, Merrick? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Did I? Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Seneca. Thank you very much. That means a lot. Legit. Alright, what views you guys want to see before we get out of here? Um, probably give you a, a wing view of some sort. That's dope. That's I didn't realize that before. It's my first <laughs> the like the flaps actually vibrate after you land. Like Hugo, you were talking about that earlier, and it's my first time actually like witnessing it myself. That's pretty cool. That's man, Z boat just gets better and better. Like I like there's payware planes that are not as good as this thing. Actually there's a lot of payware planes that are not as good as this thing. I wanna see it again. <laughs> Yeah, check it out. So the flaps, actually, I put the flaps down a little late as well, but they're full right now. What up, Merrick? Thank you, man, so much for watching the Falcon Fifty video. I'm glad you liked it. Appreciate the sub as well, man. Welcome to, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Blue Air Royal family, my man. Check it out. A little bit of a rough landing. We came down about 400 feet per minute. It was pretty hard, pretty, hard, pretty rough. It looked better on the replay than it did, uh, than it actually was. That flap vibration is dope. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's watch it from the other side. Okay, I was only gonna do one wing view, but now that it looks so good, I gotta do the other side. Let's do a, bit, let's do a little bit more of the approach, cause like, uh, Leeds is on this top of like this big plateau looking thing, and so there's all this these like light and city out in the distance, and that just looks amazing. And yeah, Merrick, there's a lot of new things going on with X Plane 11, especially if you've been gone for two years. Wow. Yeah, man. Enjoy. Enjoy all the, the new stuff out there, especially Zebo. Make sure you get your hands on the Zebo if you're in the airliners. My object settings are set to medium right now. Uh, I have a medium a number of objects, and I have my resolution set to medium as well. My texture resolution, I'm sorry. Alright, uh, any other views? Let's see, let's do, I guess we can do a belly, a little belly cam. Should have one. Uh, don't I have another one, like, on, let's do this one instead, actually. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Zebo's the first you installed. I think that's the same for most people. Like whether you come, you're coming to X Plane 11 new, or you're coming back after a long hiatus or something like that. Like Zebo is definitely the first thing you want to get because it's always going to be new. It's always going to be updated. I was just talking about today how this version just came out today. So well, not came out today. Sorry, I just updated it today. And uh, HDC later, man. Thank you so much, man, for coming by. I appreciate you, bro. Always. Hopefully, I can stop by one of your streams later. Uh, my object settings usually are like high uh, because of the lead scenery I turned everything down but usually I have my object amount set to high uh, and then I have my texture set to high that's what I usually have it at but because it's leads and because I'm flying over true earth Great Britain um, my my frames are really bad out here honestly um, not because of the airport because of the scenery around the airport 
Oh, that's a dope shot too. Man, I gotta take another video. <laughs> you might see some of these shots on Instagram later, guys. Oh yeah, look at that water coming off of the wheels too. Yep, yep, this is another video. I'm just gonna record it right now. So shut up real quick. <laughs> Man, how far are we? This video is dedicated to Seneca. All right, I think I've recorded enough video for IG. Uh, to answer your question, who is that? Uh, Christian. Uh oh, it froze. It might crash. It definitely might crash. Maybe a crash coming. But uh, to answer your question, uh, Christian, yes, I did figure out the fuel truck for this plane. Make sure you, first of all, you have the latest version of Zebo. Oh yeah, there's a crash. It's over. <laughs> Well, guess that's the end of my stream. Uh, no, we're, we're good. We were done anyways. Uh, There's not really much else that I was going to do. But uh, let's, let's put me back on the screen while we say goodbye and answer these last couple questions. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys for sure um, coming out and, you know, you know, you know, coming out and hanging out with your boy. But uh, to get the fuel truck to work, you have to like load uh, fuel or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it works but you got load fuel or something <laughs> in the uh, in the tablet that's where you gotta do it there I am hello gonna answer a couple more questions and I'm gonna get out of here I know it's so beautiful the game crashed the game just couldn't take the beauty <laughs> uh, let's see Yes, somebody else was asking, was this payware scenery we were just flying over? Yes, that was absolutely payware scenery by Orbix. And again, to get the fuel truck to work, first you need to uh, go to the tablet, to the weight and balance, and then change the fuel number. Uh, once you change the fuel number, the uh, little fuel person will come out and either defuel or refuel your plane, and they'll be there until it finishes, and that's basically it. But um, I got to see for the first time today. It was really dope really really dope but anyways guys you guys are amazing as always i really do appreciate it um yeah so i should be back tomorrow you know as long as i can and uh and wednesday as well and i go out of town thursday and friday so i'll be out of town at the end of the week and i'll be back for next week after that but until next time guys is it hard to play with a keyboard and mouse yes it is uh it's better i would always tell people if you can't get a joystick at least get an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. Uh, it'll work. It's not as good as a joystick, but it's better than a keyboard and mouse. Um, but um, you got you to do what you got to do. If you love flying, you love flight sim, you really want to do it, you just got to make it work. You know what I mean? Not everybody can afford a joystick. Not everybody have access to one. So uh, I'll, my first years of playing flight sim was with my PS4 controller that I still have. And it was on this laptop. So yeah. My setup was nothing special and it still ain't great. You know, it's good. I can't complain. I actually like my setup. 
um, but it could be better too. But anyways, you guys are getting amazing. I'll, I'll see you guys next time though. As always, three choices, give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. There's some behind the scenes of how I do my outro. <laughs> Peace, love, and God bless you guys next time. Next video, hit that fade.